Good evening, my friends, or afternoon, or morning, or late night, wherever you are. It's Skyrim 1 Inventory Slot Day 3. We're already on to Day 3. I know on the VOD channel these might seem a little sporadic, uh, but, you know, it is how it is. That that That's life sometimes. I uh, should have this VOD up, I think, the day after this stream, so that would be Tuesday. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this one quite a lot. I've been looking forward to it. I have some short-term goals that I want to try to knock out today. We'll see how far we can get, how long we're streaming. I have no clue. Uh, I guess you can tell how much fun I've had today. If you're watching this on the VOD channel, you can tell how much fun I've had today by how long the VOD is. Although that's that might sound like an indictment, though, on the first two days of this. The only reason I didn't stream the first two days of this for like 12 hours Thank you, is just sir. because I had other stuff to work on. Yo, it's my favorite juve. Sly Panda, how are you? Appreciate it. Thank you very much for 19 months. How was your weekend? Uneventful. Wildly, wildly uneventful. It's actually, I, I can't really even quantify how much nothing occurred you, during my weekend. Poggers champion. Redundant, thank you for 15 months. Good to see everybody though. I'm excited for this. All right, this, this tavern song is a little too ominous. Jesus, I restart my PC and all of a sudden it's got to throw like 15 updates at me. Hold on. Am I stoned? One sec. I'm looking at the weather and it's 71. I mean, I just went Thank to the gas cancer. station. Happy birthday. The quick trip. If you've never been to a quick trip, top five. It's 71. I knew, I, okay, I could tell that it, there was something off when I was Happy outside. Time, My spider sense was going off, but 71 is, uh, yeah, that's not really expected. Bought weed at the gas station? No, no, no. Quick trip is goat. Love their frozen. I've never had one of their frozen Thank coffees. You, Tom, hey, Juve. Good news and bad news. The good news, we had our Twitch baby. Okay. The okay. bad news, I had to afford this sub somehow, and the Twitch baby is no longer in my possession. You know what? No, that that's okay. That's a sound economic decision. That's <laughs> that's you're 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 making smart choices. I've I've always been an advocate for making smart financial decisions on this stream. So I mean, you know, you have to do what you have to do. Thank you, Colin, sir. And in order to have a second Twitch Hello baby, there. you have to remain subscribed. So I, it seems like you've made the right call. Ain't Demon, good to see you. Thank you for thirteen months. Appreciate it, y'all. Thank you, Colin. Sir. War Turtle, don't dead name the Two channel. Two years. Fortnite battle pass poop. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. All right. What is what is that even? Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite battle pass. Poop. That's your two year. You're at 24 Here months and you go with Fortnite United battle States pass dollar, poop. Dollar, United States dollar, dollar, United States dollar, dollar, United States dollar, dollar, United States dollar. Worth every text to speech is kind of Will you ever there. abandon us like you abandon the Twitch babies? I can't take care of all the Twitch babies at the same time. I'm not sure what you all want me to do. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get to the task at hand. I don't have a ton of stream. Okay, <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on. I, I have to actually respond to this one. Madden stream when? What? I can understand a lot of the questions people have when they're like, what about a Red Dead 2 stream? Thank you, Colin, sir. What about Stalker Our again? Twitch baby Maybe another born. type of open world game, spatula. you know, with sandbox mechanics that you can kind of screw around in. How about you do a Kenshi stream or a RimWorld stream? I understand those requests. Madden? I'm a god. Why Madden? You a god? What a grand Why? <laughs> what? I'm a god. Not only does Madden suck, I think just sports games in general are trash. Sorry, sorry, if you're a really big sports game fan, I apologize. But it's it's not my fault. I, I would I would blame it on the uh Thank you, kind sir. On the, the Nine months groups in charge of those titles. I'll call the Twitch baby Liberty Prime. That's a good name. 
It's good to know that the children I don't care about have great names. Thank you, I mean, You guys are getting creative with them. Hello, Juve. 21 months now. When is my child support check coming in? How about you take care of the first few? Send me an IOU. Thank you, kind we'll sir. We'll figure out the rest from there. I'll have my Coward. lawyers take care of it. Mountain Blade Banner Lords. Uh, Banner Lord would be kind of fun. I feel like every time I play Banner Lord, though, the beginning of the game is awesome. Where, like, you're getting skills at a really quick pace and you're leveling up your army and your, your guys that you got, your little action figures. But then I feel like the game hits a point where it's just battle simulation simulator where you kind of are running around and simming the battles because that's the only way to kind of start quickly progressing. I wish the game had a little bit more mechanics in terms of like the sim life stuff or the, you know, the, the stuff that's kind of happening in the background of the game. I do like Bannerlord, though. Yeah, late game is a bit grindy. I mean, not that I not that I hate grinding. Spider Solitaire Stream 1. I'll tell you the closest we're ever getting to Spider Solitaire or any card game is Bellatro. Holy shit. I gotta tell y'all. It's amazing. I'm a god. It is so good. God. It's very, very good. Purples, thank you very much. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Carples, I appreciate that. Thank you for gifting five to the channel. Very kind of you. Charmed Burrito, thank you for the Prime. Base Killer, thank you for 21 months. Darkwing Dragon, thank you for nine months. Avocado, Avocado thank Lanch, you kind, thank you for gifting five to the channel earlier. Sorry, apologies, I missed that. I was too busy bouncing my head back and forth like an awkward skin bobblehead. Uh, Lieutenant Dan, thank you for 18 months. Couple jokes, thank you for the bits. Mental Shatter, thank you for the 333 bits. Very kind of you. W, thank you for two years. Trees nuts. Thank you for 100 bits. Glad to finally catch a stream on a related you, topic. Have you sir. figured out what Midwest emo is yet? No, my knowledge on Midwest emo still goes as far as where are you? And I'm so sorry. Like that, that, that's kind of my understanding of Midwest emo right now. Not sure what goes here. Thank you for the prime. No, but for real, if you haven't played, uh, if, if you like roguelites in any way or you like gambling, you guys love gambling. 90% of these streams is gambling. All right. Just try Bellatro. It's like, is that even how you say it? Bellatro, 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 Bellatio. <laughs> Close enough. It, it's awesome. It's awesome. Definitely, definitely play it. It's also really, really addicting. So just be careful. I mean, it is like dopamine is shooting out the sides of your monitor when you play this. It's like a slot machine that you always win. Well, you don't always win, but it feels like that. Even if you lose, it feels like you're winning. All right, anyway, task at hand. We're back. We have one inventory slot. We've made a little bit of progress. We're getting fairly close to level 10. Well, I think we're level eight right now. So the short-term goals I have... If you don't remember how all of this has gone, I did put on the slideshow. Oh, I appreciate that. Best of luck at work. Enjoy work. Uh, so I, I added to the slideshow a very fitting graveyard for our deceased brethren who have sacrificed their self for our ultimate goal, Sven. Oh this is oh, not the time to be partying, God. okay? We are in mourning. We... Anyway, <laughs> give him, give him a salute. We're gonna miss him already. Yeah, three down already. It and Lydia might be the saddest one. I really feel bad about Lydia. JT Baker, very kind of you. Thank you for gifting ten to the channel. Appreciate you. So we lost. We lost Sven early on to a trap. I was very upset at him there. Uthgird, I believe I accidentally got killed. That was completely my fault. That was just, that was bad direction, poor leadership, and I promise never to make the same mistake. Lydia was just a victim of bad circumstance. We got jumped by the thugs because we were committing crimes, and Lydia paid the ultimate price in the middle of that battle defending me. 
So we have lost three. We don't have a fourth one yet. And the last time we ended, I was trying to become a vampire. I got vampirism and accidentally cured it because I got wrapped up in some really stupid creation club quest that I mean, I guess it was it was kind of fun, but it wasn't really it wasn't really doing anything for the current run. So I didn't enjoy it all that much. We didn't get much loot out of it Thank that we could you, use. Counselor. So for today, I want to get to the point where we need to get a new follower. We can either buy one, hire one as a bodyguard or maybe get one from a quest. I want to focus on block and restoration. We need perks for both of these skills. If you missed it last time, block has kind of become our go to inventory slot. If I'm going to use my one inventory slot and it's not going to be a quest item, then it should be a shield. It's it's like the one thing that I, that I think really helps us stay alive. And we've been able to use it in some pretty creative ways so far. It just hasn't been that successful. I want to try and get vampirism back again. Reason being, we want to get vampirism because I think that can satisfy a lot of the food requirements if I'm just feeding on civilian life. Also, for roleplay purposes, it seems fun. It's a different twist on one of these playthroughs. And then I want to get started with Dawn Guard. But I do I have a couple side goals. We could do I do want to get married. Not for the purposes of love, but for the purposes of free food. And then maybe we can try to get uh, Spellbreaker. I feel like I feel like Spellbreaker could be a really good little buff. Right? I mean, like, it's a tough dungeon. I don't know if we'd be able to get through it, especially while keeping our follower alive. But Spellbreaker seems like it'd be pretty fun for this build, especially because it has some magic resistance. You already have vampire sickness in real life? No, that's just lack of sun and vitamin D. <clears throat> can you stack equipment on your follower? No. We can only give them upgrades. We can give them direct gear upgrades, but we can't use them for actual storage. So I guess we can use them for some light storage if that storage is used as a direct upgrade on the follower. But anyway, that's about where we're at. Give me two seconds here. We will start in like two. I, I have to get the game like booted up. You know what I was looking up earlier? I was looking up Skyrim Trap remixes. And <laughs> some Thank of them were pretty sir. bad, but some of Three them were months. pretty good. Let's boogie. Didn't you get wrecked by a vampire then? I did contract it, but in the next quest, I accidentally prayed at a shrine. So that got rid of it. Jabo song? Uh, summoning salt song. Did it count since it was danger? Uh, it did. It. I think it got rid of our sickness for sure. This song makes me feel like I'm about to break a world record speed run. It probably, I wonder if it overlays well with the actual Skyrim theme. No, it, it does in fact, it sounds terrible. I thought we were gonna crash there for a second. Are you going to watch Hidden Cup 5? What's Hidden Cup 5? Is it a race? I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. Oh, pardon me. Was I in your way? Poor Nilsine has been wrecked since her Why am I so short? Failed. Am I normal height? I feel like I've shrunk. Wait a minute. This is not... You can't just throw the big logs on the fire. You've got to have the little bits, too. Am I wrong here, or is that NPC huge? Maybe it was like the stairs or something. Maybe it's the jet. Good tip. Like this guy's huge, Thank is he not? Time, sir. The Maybe I just haven't played this game in a little bit, so it's throwing me off. I don't know. I'm I'm losing my mind a little bit here. 
All right, back to the task at hand. We've got our hide shield. That's all we have. Thank you, kind sir. Hello, sir. Please check out the Mushoku Tensei Ost for background tracks. Also, RDR when also say hi to the real child Bingus, aka Angel. Whoa, 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 you're throwing, you're throwing like, you're throwing like nine different requests at me, Sonny. You get one. I'll say hi to Bingus. Hello, Bingus. Good to see you. One of these days, I'll understand what Bingus means. All right, I think there's somebody we can hire in here, but we need... We're going to need probably 500 gold. I'm a sailor on the north wind. We're laying over I think it's this guy. We can hire him, right? If you're looking ah, yes. Okay, we need 500 gold. Skyrim, I've wagered your search is over. Which I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it up by Windhelm. It's scary up here. It's really dangerous. Maybe I could chop wood. How many wood logs do I have Thank to cut for 500 time. wood? Vod channel is supreme and we all know it. Hey, you can't say it out loud. You can't, you can't, shh, shh. His chin game has, is insane. He's been mewing. Who? The guy we were talking about earlier? JT, appreciate that. Thank you. So I don't think anybody is essential. I don't think any of the, I think all the, the followers can die. To yourself, sneak thief. Can't carry wood and wood axe at the same time. So I believe as soon as the wood goes into our inventory, it'll just pop out. Let's try it. So like as soon as it goes into our inventory, you see how the shield goes away? And now we have the ax. Get off Nils. Come on, give me a turn. Hmm? I'm telling Ulfric. <laughs> Ulfric, Nils is hogging the chopping block. Hmm? Come on. Come on. Hmm? You don't think I'm going to sit here and mash E all day till you get off the block? Oh my god, he's going back again. Well, hello. Not the time for greetings, Nils. I'm sick of your shit. Get off the block. Stay out of trouble, I am tr I'm trying to get myself an honest job here. Maybe this is just like an immersive thing added to Windhelm where only the Nords can use the wood chopping block. Like only the Nords can get, you know, the blue collar type jobs. Nils actually pays his child support. You can't prove that. Let's see, if he's carrying some bands, he's carrying 10 gold. How much do you think child support costs in Skyrim? Need something? Even if that was his child support payment? <laughs> Looks like the kid's not getting lunch this week. Hmm? I'm going to sit here and tap E. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have a little bit too. Well, hello. Thank you, kind sir. Happy three months. I hope our one pocket bandit can slay her way to victory. Sparkles. Wait, why am I getting shot at? I just surrendered. Yo, 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 stop! Stop. In the name of the Yard. By order of the Yard. Stop. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Bro, are you. What the fuck was that? I surrendered. He didn't think to arrest me at, like, before killing me? Why would you. What? <laughs> Said it a few times, I do indeed hate this game. Oh my god, now he's, he's back on the log. That's a worse punishment than death. Hey, at least we didn't lose my shield. Did I lose my bounty? Wait, I know you. Okay, well the good thing about having a low crime bounty is you can just walk away from the guards and they can't do anything. You 
wouldn't attack an old man again, would you? I would do it in a heartbeat, Nils. In a heartbeat. Okay, unfortunately, the chopping axe was in our inventory, so now it's gone. I don't really want to march around the cold looking for money. We got 140. We lost 40 gold. Out of, what's 180? What's 42 divided by 180? That's the percentage of gold I lost. Is that 25%? Wait, yeah. Also, why is the guard acting confused? It was like, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. I I know you. You're that you're that cat uh, that cat that I shot. All right, I don't want to adventure out in the cold too much. I have fur, but I don't have very much coverage. Twenty three point six seven two three four percent. Pretty close. Close enough to twenty five. But no, we have to stop dying. No more death. We gotta get enough gold for a follower. I can take you. Where do you want to go? Uh, God, do I really want to go to White Run Hold? It's just I've done it so many times. I'm a god. TK. I'm a god. What a grand and TK Squid, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm a god. How can you, kill a god? you know, Shame you guys should stop god. rewarding me for dying. I I I feel wrong. I just made a terrible play. I got myself killed. I lost more money. I should not be rewarded for this. Oh, perfect. I absolutely hate the rain. I hate it. It should make me feel cozy. You know, if I was laying down on my couch playing Skyrim, maybe if I've had about 10 milligrams of edibles, then I think that this rain would be really, really great. But right now, where I, I'm trying to think and process and come up with a plan, it doesn't really do it for me. It's more distracting than anything. And I always forget what the console command is to limit it. All right, we'll adventure around in the forest. I think we can probably find some sort of money maker here. Why don't I just, I guess I should join the thieves guild. If I'm going to be a naked cat, no, I can't join the Thieves Guild. I can't. If I join the Thieves Guild, I can only carry one item. I'm not going to be able to do much. Still, Oak Flesh is pretty cheap and we get our magic back pretty quickly. I want to say that there's Thank a spriggan in here. 100% there's a spriggan in here. Can we get a hide shield? Ooh, Thank you, kind let me sir. get the chest. Usual bot channel view and nice to catch you live. I'm going to get out of there. Benjin, thank you for the prime. Rish, thank you for two months. Have me as us the fisty kitty join the thieves guild to be a cat bear Gla. Queen Rami, thank you very much. It was very kind of you. Thank you for a thousand bits. I don't know if I want to do thieves guild just because like if I'm stealing stuff, it's a bit hard. I can steal gold out of pockets. That doesn't take up an inventory slot. But do I really want to be, you know, shoveling one item back and forth? Pretty sure it's a novice conjurer up here. Oh, we have unrelenting force. That's huge. Okay, sweet. So we can go. That easy. A little bit of XP, nothing major though.
Whenever we're on the run, we gotta eat all the tomatoes. Every time we find just food in a barrel, we gotta eat it. It's not gonna give us a whole lot, but it'll it'll stave off starvation just a little bit longer. Ah, okay, hold on, hold on, don't die. I don't really know, this isn't gonna make me that much money. I have to complete a quest if I want cash. Couldn't you have talked for an extra 30 minutes? I'm in a meeting right now. Wait, what? Well, I, I plan on talking for the next, for a while. All right, North Shriek Wind Bastion. I'm not really sure what's in here. I don't think we've done this dungeon before. How hard could it be, right? Ooh, maybe there's vampires in here. That would be nice. Holy shit, it is vampires. No way. What? What? Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Was I really dead there? This fucking game took me all the way back to Windhelm? Thank you, kind sir. I don't understand. Hold on. Thank you for the amazing content. Minor in Why do I have this injury bullshit still? I have it. I have that turned off. That debuff is annoying. Hold on. Yay. Let me see if I have it before this death. Yeah, I have it here. And I still have vampirism? What in the hell? What is going on? I thought I I thought I prayed the vampirism away, but now I have it. Hold on, I'm just gonna check around and see. I, I, need, I need to see. This this injury stuff, though, is getting really stupid. Reduced health mind. Yeah, this is before the cop killed me. So do I have to... Okay, relax, relax. I just have to investigate. I know somebody out there is gonna be like, Oh my god, he's cheating! He's cheating! <laughs> How dare you! Just give me like two seconds. Because it was a Daedric Shrine, I told you. Okay, well, I'm, I, I can't always take what Twitch chat says at face value. This may shock you, but sometimes Twitch chat is wrong. Hold on, I'm going back here. I have to pay rent to troubleshoot. Fresh baked. Sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. All right, so leveling up. Now it's at 10%. Hold on. Let's see if it keeps it. Here's Here's what I'm trying to figure out. Is the quote-unquote minor injury, is that coming from Blade and Blunt, or is that coming? It is. Okay, it's coming from Blade and Blunt. Not the actual death mod. Continue. Continue as normal. I still think that that death was complete and utter horseshit. But the actual health debuff itself is coming from Blade and Blunt after death, not from the death mod itself. The death mod itself was applying a really, really strict health debuff that was only curable from leveling up. So, kill away. See, like, I, that I don't understand. Is it my health is already at zero and the health bar is trying to catch up? It just feels wrong to me.
but like it should be at 10%. I didn't realize that Vampirism debuffed our health though. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, that's not very good. But at least all things are aligned. The stars are aligned. We're back to where we were. I still can't believe Isabella's gone. She was such a helpful young lass. This guy looks miserable. Are you okay? Now more than ever, the world needs tales of heroism. Don't worry, my friend. I got you covered. When I bounce back from this terrible setback, everyone's gonna know my name. I made my fortune as a sea captain. Man, I really don't know where to go, though. Every night. Thank you. That is just so comically evil. <laughs> it's like every night I walk around their neighborhood and insult their race and culture to their face. Why are you telling this to strangers? Like it like it's some kind of flex. Like could you imagine if you were like if you met somebody randomly and without provocation at all? They just started telling you that they love shit posting on like racist forums on 4chan. That's essentially what Rolf does. He just walks around to strangers and tells that about them or tells them his hobby. Like it's a fun fact. Like he's at a university class and they're doing that kind of popcorn challenge where they're like, oh, popcorn, you know, pop to this person so they can tell you a fun fact about themselves. Just getting to know the class, feel out the room, Horses. understand things. You know, what do you like to do? What's your hobby? Every night, I go down to the gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think about them. I, I like fishing. <laughs> I like, uh, I like uh, you know, hunting in the forest, helping provide for my family, you know? Need a ride? Where do you want to go? All right, well, now that I have successfully ran myself completely out of money, we're going back to Whiterun. It's the only area of the game I can feel safe that I won't immediately get, you know, clapped in. Is this going to be on YouTube? At some point. I got to go find that console command again. I need to have this pinned somewhere. I'm about to make a chat command for the syntax to limit this rain. I love how Obsidian Weathers looks, but I hate the rain. And I have to go into like my Discord server, I think on the stream chat channel, and I have to individually search for this method, uh, message. Weather. Oh, there it is. Liz underscore Bean sent the message. Okay, now nobody say anything. Nobody say anything in chat. <laughs> Thank you for pinning it, Demon. Okay, it is global. No, 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 no. It is set global season overcast rain to and now I have to expand the damn thing again because it overcast rain to this one is normally a 10 so we're gonna make it a five I spelled set wrong set global season storm rain Thank you, to Happy sub Two. I spelled set wrong again. There. Now it's going to continue raining here, but it should be gone at some point. All right, Ink Demon. You don't have to. You don't have to keep it pinned the whole time. You can take it down. 
Sir Juve, sir. Satanic Scissors, thank you for four months. Just a vibin' frog, thank you for continuing your sub. Selda Ray Feed, thank you for three months. Thank you, kind sir. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, everybody. I am absolutely lost. Oh, that's right. Hold on. We have the ability to perform. I forgot about that. Let's let's make use of it. I forgot about our comeback story and writing our album. Depending on what time it is, though, hitting up the White Run Inn and playing a banger of a song could generate some more money. It's 11.38 p.m. Perfect timing. Is survival supposed to be off? Is it off? Yikes. Okay, survival was off there, but I have fixed it. I think I, I think I turned it off to do some testing. Again, leave me alone. This is perfect. Look at this crowd. This is huge. Nope, nope, Mikhail, don't even start. This is my show. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Naked cat, everybody. Thank you. Come over here. It's like one of those guitar battles in Guitar Hero 3. Well, the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a something, something. Goofiest clap ever. <laughs> they do look stupid. I don't have enough room. My green screen gets in the way. Forty-three gold feels weak. What are you all poor? Hey, Lucia, chip in. No, I'm out. I'm out here just like you. I'm hustling just like you, Lucia. You're my competition. This is my territory. What can I get you? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Yard's men came by and left this bounty letter. Uh, Red Ram's retreat is certainly doable. Need hungry? Take a look. 122. Really don't have a whole lot. She got some cooked beef, though. Meat pie. Salmon steak. That's really it. She really doesn't have a whole lot. Venison chop. I think I've got. Mugs need scrubbing. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, yeah? we will drink and grease. Sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you to your children of Skyrim. I fight all our life. Healthy eight hours. Meat pie, right when we wake up. Injuries have healed. And it's still freaking raining. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that kind of language. I don't use that language anymore. It's immature. It's unbecoming. Got some good pieces out here. Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage. Can I afford a shield? Oh my gosh, I need seven gold. I'm not going with ugh, no, I need to train block. I can probably I think I can get a free shield at the companions. Why don't you start pickpocketing money? I don't know. I feel like that just I feel like that invokes negative Khajiit stereotypes. I'm actually expecting Earl, my husband, and I have decided to name our baby Juvefer if it's a girl and Juvathan if it's a boy. <laughs> okay, please, Lulu Bunny, if you are actually having a child, congratulations. But secondly, please do not name them anything at all related to this stream. If I encourage that, I would, uh... You know what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, do it. Do it. You won't. You won't. Chat, let's gamble on it. Will they or will they not actually name their child something Juve related? We can have this be like the next stream gamble over the next few months. We're going to need you to send the birth certificate to the Discord mods just so we can kind of like vet it, maybe go through it a little bit, make sure that everything lines up well. But, you know, we'll hold you to it. What now? There's got to be a shield in here, right? Something I can steal? Oh, you know what? There's a ton of gold in here. I always forget. I don't always forget. 
In fact, quite the opposite. I almost always remember that there's gold here. I got a stupid idea. I'm gonna take the silver ingots. If there's any more we can find, or perhaps we could find some at the blacksmith, we could craft that into some rudimentary jewelry. It won't be a lot of XP, but it'll be something. Yes, we can turn the silver ingots into rings. We can sell the rings out of our one slot. Then we'll have enough money. I think that would work. We might be cooking. That is true. We'd have to pick up the rings off the floor, and it's raining outside. It's a high-risk venture, but we got to take risks. Maybe you could hire Janessa. Does how much does Janessa cost? Are the requirements for marrying Janessa also just paying 500 gold? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's no iron or silver. Beat up Uthgird? Too late. Uthgird is already dead. Crap, these are gonna be impossible to pick up. I should have gone with the necklace, y'all were right. There we go. Get the ring out of the forge. Khajiit can pick it up with their bare hands. They're chill like that. I don't know if transmute is viable. I guess it could be. Transmute would be viable if and only if we had a pickaxe in our one inventory slot. We mined ores, they popped out. We replaced the pickaxe with the ores and carried the pickaxe with us to the next location. Trinkets, odds and ends. I think that that would be viable. However, then it just feels like we're doing Iron Man all over again. Do come back. Do you have a hide shield? Let me know. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Hide helmet? Not quite. Ooh. We could go with the brawlers. Mm. The brawlers are probably not too bad, but no, I think I want to commit to block. It's not a skill tree we've really invested in that much lately. So glad to catch a stream after a rubbish day at work. Hope you're doing well. Pash Loom, sorry to hear that work was shit today. You'll bounce back. I help my father in more ways the finest weapons in armor. Alright, we got our loadout. Back to the grind. This challenge is at least Moonstone Man compared to Iron Man. <clears throat> you think? I mean, I guess it is a little bit harder. It's more cumbersome, that's for sure. But it is also really fun to sort of theorize our way through some of the problems we're going to run into. I got to get through this dungeon, though, without dying. This, this I'm going to lock in for. I'm kind of tired of playing around. Tired of screwing around. We haven't made much progress the last like four hours. All right. No more goofs. No more gags. What the f? I just said it. I just said no more goofs. No more gags. No more tomfoolery. I gave it up for Lent. Oh shit. Wait, is Lent over? No, Lent just started. Uh, 
Okay, 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 okay. We might be able to lead him back to Whiterun. He is your child support for little Jivdots. Tell them I miss them. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll make sure to use the child support. Worth every oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, and, uh, bleh. I'll worry about child support later, okay? Besides, I was probably just gonna spend it on cigarettes or something cool. Thank you, kind sir. I need him to come over here. We we do want to take out this dragon because it's going to be about 200 gold right on his body. Come on, we got to go hunting. Where is he even going? Is he just here for show? Was it just a dragon flex? I think he might be gone. Camel crush main. <laughs> yeah, been... yeah, what's your what's your main? What's your go to? Primary uh, Marlboro Red. Maybe follow it up with an American spirit. It's a nice little wild card to have in the back. And plus it can make you seem like you're really connected with Mother Earth. At least that was my excuse when I was like 17. I was like, yeah, I, I go with the American spirits because, like, it's it's more, like, natural. I love it when dragons show up just to be drama queens. I'm saying. Talk about dramatic. Over the top. Full of themselves. This is just pathetic damage output. I'm going to risk it just to see how we can block. Okay. I still take far too much damage from that to be comfortable. Always eat everything. We have to be a sustainable hunter. Such a bullshit mindset for six. I miss being a kid. I know. I know. I miss. I miss being able to just make stuff up. Hey, Juven Chat. Tribunal is a slog to get through, and I'm trying to get through Blood Moon so I can go back to playing like a dragon infinite twelfth. You're playing like Morrowind? Tri oh, God damn. Come on. I was talking to chat. You can't do that. Honestly, these wolves, they just piss me off whenever they do that. Okay, we have an opportunity here. Let's get some block XP. Not bad. Not as much as I would have liked. But we can use this wolf for XP. Okay, apparently that was a timed block. Let's see if we can... That wasn't timed? There we go, that was. All right, there's some kind of delay. I'm not exactly sure how the mechanic works. But if we just take our time and we're patient here, we might be able to get a few levels of block. Which we only have a level 20. Bring the wolf back here. And rock joint, wonderful. Where are we at, we get a level? Oh my God, we barely got any XP. Here's the problem. My health is so low that in order to get decent block XP, I have to take damage from enemies who probably can cut through most of my HP.
It's another wolf right over here. I can hear him. Oh, the fox and the hound. I thought they were supposed to be friends. I don't know where you think you're going. You're free XP. Thank you, kind sir. Let's go long time no see, Mr. Jew. Okay, man, good to see you. Thank you for 11 months. Life ain't no Disney movie. Thank you, kind sir. My wee wee goes boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. Not... <laughs> <laughs> not fu not funny in the slightest actually uh that was <clears throat> uh, uh no that was just my i was laughing at the imperials you know like <laughs> what are they doing in stormcloak territory that's so weird I, I was that's what i was laughing at <laughs> here matt i mean white run hold <laughs> it's so silly to be patrolling out here you're gonna like die but that message was incredibly immature, please. Okay, all right. This is an 18 plus community. Act like it. Do you have any upcoming Fallout 4 challenges? Honestly, I don't have a ton that I'm that passionate about right now that I'm that super excited about. I am excited for when we eventually do do Fallout 4 uh, because it's been so long, I'm gonna have a sh shit ton of fun going through it again. All right, time to lock in. I don't want to hear any nonsense, okay? I don't want any, no immaturity. This is only going to be about winning. It'll be a display of skill, the likes of which you have never seen. Right around your tree. We start off by clapping this dog, easy. Get smoked, maybe be a more, you know, nefarious breed. Almost killed me. I might die in one hit here. And my magic is gone. All right, this might be a little bit difficult. But we killed the dog. I can't die. If I die, I lose my skill progress. Oh, and it's a whisperer. Nice. So they shoot their arrows much faster. I'm not, not a lot of damage there. Like, look at that. Look how quick they draw. I'm, I'm going to leave before, you know, they send it iron through my skull. So what's my max health? My max health is 85. Completely naked on expert. That arrow is going to kill me. I'm not even a glass cannon. I'm a glass pea shooter. Oh, and we have rock joint. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just going to run around electrocuting deer for my training. It's not really the most uh, most ethical way of hunting. But I had to do something. Anytime I see arrows, we just have to run. I can't lose more gold. I can't lose more XP. I still need about 320 before I can buy a follower. Shield block does, or shield bash does give block XP. Might not be a bad idea to, okay, hold on. Let's see if we can get the jump on Bambi. We go like this. We shout, Bambi stumbles, we shield block, and then we tase them. We follow suit, get our shout back, a little bit of tase action in between. This might look like torture, but trust me, the deer is having fun. This is how they play. Shield bash, there's our block XP. And then we send a jolt of lightning through Bambi's spine until their brain loses just all its reactivity. 
at that point it stops feeling pain so i'm actually the good guy here Honestly, not bad, though. I mean, we got maybe half a block level there. So not bad. We're going to have to do this a few more times. This is a nice little strategy. I'm just not powerful enough to take on any kind of combat encounter on my own. The losses, they stacked up. We fell down a bit. As a wise man once said, I get knocked down. But I get up again. No, you're never gonna keep me down. Who was that? What band was that? Was that Hootie and the Blowfish? Hoobastank. Get the block. We gotta watch out. They have arrows back there. Just in case, let's throw up Oak Flesh. Yeah, they're throwing arrows from deep. I know it's just skeletons. Got him, we got the stumble. There we go, another one. Chumba Woomba? I th that was close enough. I'm forgetting my key binds. Like, alt is sprint in this game, right alt. That's actually the dive button in Helldiver, so I'm getting a little thrown off. Good, we gotta get our stamina back. Okay, we have two. Let's just melt these mud crabs real quick. All right, I want to isolate the last mud crab. Earth every septum. Sup, Juve. I'm curious what kind of GPU you use. My 4070 just came in for my first ever PC build. I think I have a 3080. I believe. I hate being into two games at once. I always get my keys mixed up. Oh, I know. As I play this, I'm like envisioning Bellatro cards coming across the screen. Right, like when I hit a good combo in this game and we take out an NPC, I start seeing and visualizing what jokers from Bellatro may be applying in the given moment. Like, oh, I'm getting times for molt here. I'm building up my chips. Play Bellatro if you have it, <laughs> please. <clears throat> it, it, it is, my brain is a slot machine. You guys, relax, just a Okay, now we got one left. There we go. We can just smack him in the face with our shield and build up some XP. It's going to be a while, though. Our stamina is going to have to come back kind of slowly. Or he could just hit right through it. Not bad, though. If we get hurt, we'll get some restoration XP. So we're getting block. We're getting resto. We're even going to get some alt. There it is. 28. That's not too shabby. Keep rotating around. Separation. We are just going to use this one mud crab. I don't know how long we'll use this one mud crab. Somehow gets a hit through. Okay. I'm not dead. If I didn't have Oak Flush on, would that have killed me? You are obsessed with gambling? Perhaps. Fake gambling, not real gambling. Because real gambling, you lose your money. Fake gambling, you don't make any money, but you also don't lose. You just get to see numbers on a screen. And if there's anything I really like in video games, it's seeing numbers get bigger. No matter how arbitrary, if the number gets You'll bigger... You'll get more XP if you have a gamble going. Higher the stakes, the more the XP true story. 
if you guys want to fake gamble, the mods could set something up. If there are any, they might not be here today. Maybe, you know what, maybe they don't want to set up a gamble. Maybe they just think all of your requests are a little monotonous. <laughs> How we doing? We at level 22, almost 22. Here we go. One more bash. There we go. We get our level up. By the end of this mud crab training arc, I will be tired of the swearing mud crabs mod. Language. <clears throat> Let's get him to hit us. A little bit more restoration XP. Alright, apparently that sound effect means it's a perfectly timed block or something. I think there's a one second window where if they hit me during it, I wonder, do I lose stamina when I do that? Yeah, I still lose stamina, but it does knock them back. Ooh, okay. We got to 23 way faster than I thought. Maybe the timed blocks give bonus XP? That happened fairly quickly. Let's see, that's just one block. Okay, one block gives us a little decent chunk of XP. Not sure if you can see that. But we just hit level 23. So I'm going to keep this up. Without getting so greedy, it gets me killed. There we go. We'll just do a couple of those and back away. Look at that. Already almost at 24. Before we know it, we're going to have Durak showing up. The Dawn Guard is going to hear of our exploits. They're going to hear of our adventures. <sighs> Granted, I am a vampire. They'll probably be a little bit upset at me about that. 24. I'm not sure how long I want to keep just attacking this one mud crab, but I do need to get a boost in all my stats. Let's see. Okay, that was two bashes. Didn't give us that much XP. I think the timed blocks might be better for XP and for stamina. Raid? Oh, Jabo send uh, his stream over. How you doing, Jabo? How was, how was your stream? Two worlds, too. Looks like a blast. Yeah, timed block. Timed block is going to get us much more XP than shield bashing. Shield bashing is good tactically in a fight. It gives our fo uh, follower a little bit more space. Come on, give me one more restoration level. This is like back at square one activities. This is the most like, <laughs> Thank you, kind this sir. is some really low IQ Skyrim gameplay. I mean, I'm told this is starting from the bottom. This is scraping the bottom of like the Skyrim content barrel. It is, it's like the equivalent of going to a family party and as, as an adult, as like a full grown adult going to the family party and you're the one who lowers the basketball rim to like six feet tall so that you can easily dunk. 
you know, without like hurting yourself and just <sighs> obliterating your little nieces and nephews in basketball on the six foot rim so that for a moment in time, you can feel like Michael Jordan. That's what abusing this mud crab right now feels like. It's the family cookout equivalent of just trouncing your eight year old nephew in basketball. Don't blow it. Every now and then your nephew though, he hits a shot and you're like, damn, you're getting good at this. I'm, 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 I'm slowing down a little bit. Okay. But you know, after he makes a couple of shots, you know, we'll give, we'll give him one or two, but then it'll be right back to just blocking his shots. Uh, 26 give me a restoration level come on I feel like I'm due thank you kind sir hi Juve I haven't been able to catch your stream in a while the second I join I see this peak Skyrim gameplay 10 out of 10 appreciate it Jacob how are you thank you for four months heal heal the crab oh my god have I not have I not been looking at jet thank you that is a genius idea Oh, yeah, genius. Yeah, real smart. Real smart. About got me killed. He reacts too quickly. Or at least, like, the, the animation is a bit too slow. <sighs> Alright, we did. We got him a little bit of health, but not much. Drained. Okay, we're just a little bit sleepy. Does that limit magic and stamina regenerate 25% slower? Yeah, that's a brutal debuff. All right, we'll cut our losses here at this point. Let's cut our losses here. Go back and sleep. We'll get our level up to nine. Maybe we're close to ten. I'd gamble Thank we're about maybe a quarter to halfway there to ten. Too entertaining to watch. Piccolo, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I wanted to make sure that this was only the highest level of gameplay today. <laughs> only high IQ type plays. More mud crabs. Let's just kill them. What are you guys gambling on? Or should I not know? Would it ruin the integrity of the gamble if I knew? It would ruin the integrity if I knew? Okay, yeah, don't tell me. I'll stay in the dark. You guys stay back there and gamble. Hopefully you have me on like a side monitor or something and you have Bellatro on your main monitor. That's what you should be doing right now unless you're in the middle of work. If you are, if you have me on your living room TV, I would suggest pulling up a Nintendo Switch. I'm going to fucking die here. I am completely fucked. Who decided to put Saber Cats in this game? I would like just a calm discussion with them. Where did the Saber Cat? Oh no, this is never good. Pro tip, if you're ever out in the wilderness, never lose sight of the predator. Like if you're on a hiking trip and you see a black bear, uh, and it's charging at you. It's probably a good idea to not take your eyes off of it. Otherwise, you'll have a much harder time dodging it. Oh, there it is. Okay, all right. Crisis avoided. That was pretty close to being bad, though. We really don't want to die anymore. Black bears aren't that scary. I see them all. Th really? Really? I'm on your work computer because of, wait, you, you're on my work computer because I'm because I'm that cool or you're that cool. Worth every septum. Cheer 200 you What if your TV is your computer monitor? What do you suggest? That's way too big. Wait, wait, are you like sitting on your couch on the other side of the living room Worth while your TV 
Cheer 100 Cheer 50 This reminds me of one time I couldn't check my credit score and since I had to drive off the lot in a used subcompact backslash, I felt like I was scraping the bottom of the barrel too. I wish there was a way to check my credit score for free. Wouldn't that be amazing? I feel like we've all had that happen at least once, right? If it's work you need, are you joking? You just rented a it just seems like a cr uh, pretty common thing, you know? Then you end up with like a used subcompact or something. Sub subcompact. Is that is that how you say it? Okay, stamina, magicka, health. I think I'm gonna probably have to make up for some of the losses vampirism is gonna cause to our health. So we'll take health. Let's see, can we get another block perk? Thank we you, can. Kind sir. We take that. We invest right into block. That's right. We got to take care of our oh, damn. We got to take care of our disease too. So there goes a hundred of our gold. We're left with seventy-two. Might not be a bad idea to start pilfering. Maybe some rummaging. Follow it up with some collection, scheming. Some of my favorite activities in Skyrim. Okay, it's seven oh one p.m. He says, I thought he said ass man for a second. He says, and as man, you said. But uh, off the side, I guess I'm Seinfeld brained. I was thinking he said ass man. Just got a spam call and screamed for a minute straight. Why? <laughs> Wait, that just seems like such a waste of energy. You just cured vampires. God dang it. Did I really? This game doesn't want to see me succeed. It doesn't want to see me happy. It doesn't. We roll with the punches. That's okay. We know where we can find more vampires, right? We just go to that one place by Falkreath. We've already been there. We're going to get vampirism. It's going to happen. Okay. The journey to 500 gold begins now. Well, it actually began like three hours ago in this game, but it's been a cascading deluge of poor decisions. You're going to freeze today. I've heard it before, heard it before. It's my lifestyle. Don't really care what you all think. I got to stop doing that, though. It's so hard. When every single wolf gives me the same disease, I feel inclined to get rid of it. But also, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let's think of the positives here, though. I'm not strong enough to be a vampire. I'm just not ready. I'm not ready for that lifestyle. I actually need my health right now in this moment. I'm completely naked. Don't tell me you crashed. Don't tell me. Don't start. What's the timer for? Context. It's a lot easier to line up when we do a final video project. It's a lot easier to line up both sets of footage with the timer on both of them. Because then they're equal. That's pretty much the only reason why it exists. Because you can line them up at one point in time at one exact millisecond and then drag the clip across. Disable the top one, then you have the raw gameplay underneath it. I will say, though, overall, our performance in game has been a lot better. It's it's crashed a fair few amount of times. I think that's the second crash on this run, which is now approaching the eight hour mark. Somehow it feels like it's only been two hours. Maybe that's just because these streams have been spaced out a little bit more. It feels like a lot less time. Why am I sweaty? I'm not sweaty. Am I? Do I look sweaty? 
priest at that. I enjoy this work well. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Uh, shit, wait, Ink Damon, can you bring back the copy and pasted code? Oh, God. Oh. I can't. I think Holda just shed out a pie. <laughs> At least from this angle, that's what it looked like. Don't talk about my father like that, John. And the answer's still no. It looks like you have serious pit stains going on. Well met, traveler. It's not easy being. No. No, that's the. It might be a lighting thing. It might be a shadow thing. But I'm good. Here we go. Here we go. What do you got for me? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. This is my favorite mod ever. I love just being able to drop the courier's bullshit mail. Where did he go? It's like a spam filter. He gives me mail, it immediately goes in the trash. It's awesome. It's like my it's my new favorite thing. All right, 57 gold. Can we we might be better suited to take on Red Run's retreat at this point. I know I want to become a vampire. It feels worthwhile though to get rid of it for now. As much as I want it. I look like enchanted armor in oblivion. I'm kind of shining today. Maybe it was uh, lotion or it might be that I trimmed my beard, lined it up a little bit today, hit it with the post shave. No, 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 no. I hate that noise. It's my least favorite noise in all of existence. He's right behind me. Okay, we've got Thank a rock you, here, a little bit of coverage. Whew, that will was you close. Marry and what will a save. You leave them at home or let them follow and die. I'm not sure what I'm going to do right now. What I have to worry about right now is not getting killed by this apex predator that is sitting on top of this rock. We have one thing we can use that is going to help us out immediately, so let's do it. He goes, he's going to go over our head here. We'll get unrelenting force back. Holy shit, that was close. No, 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 not the deep rock tunes. Okay, this this might help me escape. I just need motivation to get out of here. He's going to kill us in one hit. Ah! Okay, 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 he got awkward pathing. We just have to get some of our stamina back. Keep stumbling him. Let's throw on sparks. I'm dead. Nice, he missed. He just moves so quick. Okay, the song has lyrics, it's distracting. Actually got to me. That one actually pissed me the fuck off. Sorry. Fuck you. Sorry. Sorry. Motherfucker, man. This is an old oh, god damn it. It didn't fucking do the thing. I thought it I thought I had it back. God damn it. Fuck. Oh, that actually pissed me off so bad. I'm I don't I don't know if I've ever gotten tilted like that playing this game in a while. <laughs> Motherfucker, dude. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and uh, I'm so mad. We literally had it.
Literally was playing it perfect there. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm good. I'm good. It's all good. It's all good. We're okay. Why is the courier coming back now? What do you want? Now's not the time. I'm pissed. A letter. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Letter from a friend. Out of pocket. You caused quite of a bit of a stir in the bannered mare when you demonstrated the power of your thumb. Dude, shut up. It was two seconds ago. Mm. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We had him in the spin cycle, too. I had my shout back, or at least I thought I did. It must have been like another two or three seconds until I had it. <sighs> oh, weather cheat on pin. Thank you. Good call. Nice. Very nice. Sorry about that. I don't like to actually freak out like that and go, you know, full gamer mode. Uh, that one just got to me, though. Season overcast rain to five. Thank you for putting that. Ah, oh, that was just disheartening. Now my shield is gone and I'm down to 43 bucks. <sighs> Where's that asshole? I'm killing it. I'm killing that stupid saber cat. to me that one that one yeah that one pissed me off a little bit i don't like getting upset but <laughs> video games am i right aren't they just always fun where are you you stupid where are you oh well, there he is No, not that one. No, no, not that one. For some reason, he gets falsely claimed. <laughs> Bitch. That might cost me here. It did it again. Why is it so slow? Is it the cold? Does the cold slow it down? 20% slower. Lockpicking and pickpocketing are harder. No. That's all I had to do. All I had to do the first time. We got him. Nice and easy. See? There you go. There you go. That is how you play video games. I still don't have my shield back, but you know what? That was just for vengeance. That was just to tell myself, I can do this. I will kill him. Imagine this game had an elbow drop move. Oh, I wish this game did. This game, I, 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 I wish, yeah. Like, if you could just go off a ledge, boom. It should just have a button where you press that button and you immediately do some Randy Orton style 
Undertaker, you know, WWE cage match, Raw versus SmackDown type move. Sanity. I don't know if I have my sanity back quite yet. First, let's see if we can somehow magically get through Red Round's retreat. We already killed the uh, the guard dog. So the guard dog is down. Now we're hungry. and Now we're hungry again. Ooh. They won't have any food on them. It kind of stinks when you eat alchemy ingredients. They don't count as food. But we can at least eat raw meat. It sucks though. Raw meat only giving back two. I'll make a couple bucks. I guess it's 18 points of hunger. So like it's only gonna get rid of the debuff we have from feeling peckish for there's another one. Thank you, kind sir. Dude, there's another one of these damn things. I gotta get inside the cave. What is that noise? Oh, it was the lightning in my hands. It sounded like crackling or footsteps or something. Silver Legends, thank you for the prime. Yeah, we gotta warm up just a tiny bit. Uh, first person's gonna be an archer. One hit, we die. I don't know if Oak Flesh can save us. We'll give it a try, though. That should be the equivalent of like a whole day of food. It's the same one. They're probably invisible still. Yeah, that hit him, so hopefully it reveals them. Woo, there they are. Did I cast that twice? I did. Already off to a terrible start. Okay, if this person kills me, we're going to have to reevaluate things just a little bit. Stumble. We got him stumbling pretty big there. And you I okay. Alright, if they want to go melee... I don't know if that helps us out all that much. Dodge! There we go. We might have him in a good position here. No. Oh. God, they got the shot off. Oak Flesh for the win! Oak Flesh, you saved my life. I wish I could at least see where the arrow hit me. All right, all right, all right. Now, for the time being, we need money. I'm taking the amethyst. <laughs> I got one gem. Maybe we can sell this. It might cross us over the finish line to buying a new bodyguard. I would have been unconsolable, inconsolable, if that arrow killed me. If I blew it in the last second, I may have cried. You may have seen me for the very first time ever just start wailing. It would have sounded like a haunted hospital ward. I would have been crying so loudly. It would have echoed throughout the halls of these, these connected condos that I live in. My neighbors would have heard it through the walls. They would have thought their place was haunted. That actually happened one time. Really random story. Uh, in, gosh, I forgot how old I was. Maybe I was like 14, 15. I think I was in high school at the time. But every, every Thanksgiving, we always had the, our like whole extended family come over to our house. A very fond memories of Thanksgiving. That's why it's still at least one of my favorite holidays. It's different now. We don't really do the same thing we used to. But one night, uh, my grandma, she 
fell in the middle of the night and she like hurt her hip right she didn't break her hip she didn't break anything she was definitely fine but she took a little bit of a stumble late night going to the bathroom or something like that you know just trying to navigate through the halls and <laughs> she was like she was like moaning throughout the night and it was echoing so it was like 2 a.m and you would just hear mm. But I, why did I start this as if it was a funny story? It was funny. She was fine. She was fine. She didn't. She was, it was a little stumble, but then it, like this echoing haunted moan. Nothing. Nothing. There's no. There's nothing bad. Relax, relax, relax. All right, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't tell it right. Maybe I. Maybe I might have told it incorrectly. Okay, but trust me, especially in hindsight now, because it was like 15 years ago. It's funny. Okay. All right. All right. Time. Time has passed. But it did for the for the for a brief moment in time. It did sound like the place was haunted. Okay, we have the bandit chief. Can we kill the bandit chief? They look stuck. Can we safe spot them? To all my RuneScape fans out there, Skyrim officially has safe spotting. You think I'm gonna risk any progress to make this like more difficult or more engaging or like a showdown? No, I have no intention. My GF said, can you stop doing this because it is loud? Are they getting closer to the edge? We can probably like, yeah, oh, there, there we go. There we go. We can move them like back towards the center a little bit. Let them think they have a chance. There you go. That's the first 360, 100 gold, barehanded, bear trap disarm you've ever seen in Skyrim history. Uh, let's hold on. We are going to come out of here with whatever is worth the most. It looks like the steel armor is going to be the most expensive individual item we can take. So let's take the steel armor. A little bit more XP. We got the bounty. 213 gold. That should bring us pretty damn close after we sell the armor and complete the quest to buying a new follower. We should be right about there. Who do you play in Smash Bros? Uh, I don't really play Smash Bros. What's like the strangest answer I could give? If I said Wii Fit Trainer, would people look at me funny? Would I get judged for that being my Smash Bros pick? I main her. Oh, sweet. Okay, so like that's actually a pretty cool pick. That's the only character I remember. I had a roommate. Uh, I had a roommate in college. Or I guess we weren't roommates. They moved into the place that I lived in after I had moved out. But anyway, uh, they, they had a Nintendo Switch. They were the only person I knew who had a Switch at the time. And they were over at our place. So we played some Smash Bros. And that was the first character I decided to play as because it just seemed like a fun random character in Smash Bros. A Wii Fit stream? 
I don't know if I would survive. Did, did I tell y'all about my, uh, did I tell y'all about my mom's hot yoga class that I went to? It's been a little bit since I streamed, but my mom's a yoga instructor and I finally went to one of her classes. Well, yeah, we did. We did. We talked about this. We talked about this because I talked about the Pilates room right next to the hot yoga room and I'd never seen a Pilates room before and it looks like a sex dungeon or like they look like torture devices of some kind. They're like Pilates apparatuses that are throughout the room. But yeah, no, I did. I did the yoga class. That shit is hard. I like I did better than I thought I would. But dude, there's this one stance that I was trying to. I don't, I don't know what the name of it is. But there's like this yoga stance where literally all we were doing and it was after a few of like the, you know, the warrior ones and the, the ones where you're, you know, your legs get. You know, you're putting in a little bit of work for some of the stances. And it was after that. This was like a simple one. It was literally just put your right foot in front of your left foot and then close your eyes. And I'm falling over. Could barely even stand. I don't know what it was. It was like I'd have my eyes open. I could have my feet there. But then as soon as I close my eyes, I start just like losing my shit. Would you go back? Oh, I 100% would. 110%. Oh, yeah. She goes through the, like, actual poses really quickly, though, which is a bit intimidating. I know a hand... I know, I know like, most of them. Not necessarily by name, but as soon as I kind of start doing them, I can... You know, I can figure it out. But they move so quickly. I was... I was it was intimidating. Do come back. Thank you, kind sir. Space, Spaceman Sakuda, thank you for your 17 months. Three hundred and fifteen. All right, we'll turn in the bounty. We play a little concert, little ditty. Any ETA on Skyrim 30 days? Friday. Friday, that one will be done. And then after this one, we should have a much better cadence with projects. It was a pretty busy last couple of weeks with, you know, onboarding a new person onto the team and, you know. Naked, 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 naked. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps excellent. You've done us a great service. All right, get the bounty out of the way. Of course. It's all in this note. Oh, is that a... Yeah, no. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, no. Oh, that's the... I thought he was going to give another bounty. The gamba is over. You can look... What was the gamble? No, it's all good. I, I mean, the, the, they have slowed down, at least in the cadence between them. Mainly because they've just gotten, you know, bigger and... A lot of times I just completely run into like a wall and have like no clue what the next part should be or like where to go with something. So I just get kind of stuck and I freeze up a little bit. I must get like scared of working on a project just because I don't want it to like, I don't know. I want them to be good. I'm a bit too hard on myself. We at where's Janessa? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. How can I just make some money in town real quick? I don't think there's anything I can make directly just from steel. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whitebrook. Yorland Greymane's got that on me. Man's mm. steel is Drunk oh Janessa, she's a drunken huntsman, okay. you'll find what you're looking for if not let me know i might have it stored away blade and shadow Ellinson. all right 500 these are my arms we'll play a concert 
make some cash. Does gold take up an inventory slot? No. No, golden keys. What did I miss the first hour? I got really pissed. <laughs> That's what you missed. There really wasn't a whole lot. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. If it's work you need. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Yarl's men came out. Valtheim Towers is doable. Yeah, we could definitely do Valtheim Towers as well. We'll probably bring Janessa to do that so we can build up a bigger cash stack. Need anything else? Just let me know. There's not a lot of people here, though, to make money. Oh, I know where to go. Okay, I know I was just at Dragon's Ridge. Dragon's Reach? Dragon's Bridge? Dragon's Reach? I was I was pissed because I was trying to 1v1 a saber cat and I had already died quite a few times it just it got to me that's all I got a little frustrated oh that's right we could turn in Sadia I haven't seen that quest pop up though we're not gonna get Janessa killed okay the Jarl should have some money these people should all have cash so our performance Hopefully can yield a few more bucks. Worth every septum. Splap, plap, splap, plap, splap. Would you rather lick a hobo's foot or play Fallout 4 Frost again? <sighs> That's tough. I'm not sure. Could you say hello to my fiance, Aether? Recently got them into your channel. Aether? Pretty cool name. Hello, Aether. How are you? 29. Oh, that sucks. Come to Dragon's Reach. Just standing around this rubbish. We should be taking the fight to storm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I mean, we are, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here for a few bucks. At least I cooked something. Consider that an achievement. They're not worth, like, anything. It's just celery. I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking this right now. There's there's coins everywhere. Welcome, the church always has free coins. God bless you, healer. That was close. Close call. Thirteen. Out of my way. Are you? Are you hurt? What condition does this soldier have? He's suffering from a debilitating disease of happy feet. Careful, it's contagious. So <laughs> Careful, he's foot loose. Don't let him infect you, kids. He was new boot goofing. Locked. Ah, okay, we can go grave robbing. Should be able to just... Why did that... I felt like my FOV changed as I went down there. Honestly, decent opportunity here. Ow. 
Okay, okay, all right. Let's just think about this for a second now. We want to be fighting the one-handed enemy. They'll do less damage. Got to dodge him there real quick, though. We could do a ton of training just inside this catacomb. Take out the two-hander. He'll do more damage. And this guy, we should get more XP because I think his hit probably does more damage than the mud crab would have. Let's check. 26, about a quarter of the way there. We got to be careful, though. That's also... Oh, damn it. Now we're, we're... Literally, why? It had to kick in now, the fact that we get drained and peckish all at the same time. Now, in the middle of training. I think my grid leaks are over here still, though. Take the grid leaks. Eat them up. Shield back on. Kind of clutch. So we at least fixed our hunger, whatever debuff that was going to apply. But our Magicka and Stamina are going to regen much slower, which sucks. Thank you, kind sir. I'm going to not kill the skeleton. We're going to leave him alive. Oh, he followed me. <laughs> he followed me. Come on, Skelly. Please win. Please, Skeleton, win. Oh, you didn't have to hit his head across the room. He launched his skull. Garnet? All right, hear me out. Hear me out. We take the Garnet. We drop the shield. Let's go sell it. This is the ultimate trade. Grab the amulet. Which amulet did I miss in there? Treefish, thank you for the tier one. Also, Space Lemons, thank you for the 150 bits. There's a couple of those bits messages I totally missed back there. Apologies for that. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Every Some may call this junk. Me, I call... Aren't it? Do come back. That only took us to 494. I need six gold. I can do this. Six gold. Well met, traveler. I'll check, I'll check the damn amulet. You don't gotta say it 18 times. I got it. Wherever it is. Or maybe I don't even want the amulet. No. I don't even think I can take the unusual gem. Oh, you know what? I remember coming in here not that long ago. That's it. 500. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, that's huge. Block skill book. Wow. What a huge find. I think it's a free full Thank level. Yes, yeah, so we're already sir. almost to 28. Uh, Vault Dweller, thank you for gifting one. Tuck Ruck, thank you for the prime. What is the... Um, Oh, uh, da, da 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 What a what amulet are y'all talking about?
Talk to the priest first. Tell me, do you believe in mighty RK God? I'm glad to know that. Be My, a I miss. Without that amulet, I'm. P I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss them. I was just examining him. He, he looked strange, like his eyes were bloodshot. His eyes were bloodshot. He had blood all over his robes. So we turn in the amulet. What does he give? I think it's just cash. It'd be nice. Oh, thank okay. Please take this gold for your troubles. Y'all sent me all the way back in there for 15 gold. I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little upset. 15 gold is fucking stupid. See? This is why when I'm locked in. I just have to ignore you all. Come to chat with an old I just, I, I have to just go into my own headspace. But who cares? Thanks. Who cares? We got Janessa. I did not forget my shield. Ah, hello, my all right, Janessa. In the blade and shadow, by silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. 10 out of 10 pitch. If this was a sales pitch and J like if Janessa made a slideshow like I do for the challenge rules, then you've come to the right. 10 out of 10, she's absolutely crushing it. You have chosen wisely. Lead on and I shall follow. Talk to Puda before you leave town. That is not a character in Skyrim. That is. That person is not in Skyrim. We sell bows, arrows, and right. No, she kind of popped off with that. Death, killing, severing heads. These are my arts. Let's make art together. What did, what did she say? What did she say? She was like, these are my arts and I am an artist. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what she said, but she was. She's like, let's make art together. You don't Nah, you're trying to get me on like Puda. You're trying to get me to say like Puda or, or Puda or whatever. And then you go like, let's go. Put a put a wiener on your forehead. Nah, nah. It's definitely one of those one of those jokes. We're not gonna get her killed, okay? Look at her. She's badass. She's cool looking. Iron sword, though. Okay, that's problematic. We're one of the same kind, you and I. No, we're not. You're a dark elf, and I'm a cat. We are actually not at all. Not really even similar. All right, we're going to keep it nice and simple here with Janessa. We're going to go to Valheim Towers. We'll clear off another bounty. We'll come back to town. I'm already hungry and sleepy again. Why does let's make art together sound like heavy flirting? I mean, I guess it could. You know, depending on the context of it. If it's worth, sure thing. It's yours for a day. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? You got 26 gold. Spend it wisely. Give me salmon steak. Give me sear to slaughterfish. Can't afford it. I can't afford venison. I'll show you to your room right this way. food in the morning it's all right we can figure out the food situation if it's work you need how about chopping up some wood for the fire we'll steal some you must be I know exactly what we're gonna do hold on this is gonna be kind of savvy no two birds with one stone here 
We're going to take Janessa up to the Companions. I don't think Janessa is going to be nearly as effective if she's using a one-handed weapon. So we're going to run into the Companions. We're going to steal a two-handed Warhammer. We're going to give her that. Give her a heavy hitter. Don't choose a saber cat as her first fight. I'll try my best not to. Here we go. And it's steel tier. So this will be a direct upgrade for her. We're one of the same kind. If that is what you wish. Let's give her the Warhammer. Lead on. She throws it on. Beautiful. Get a few more doll hairs in here. I should have robbed this place when I needed the extra coins before. I always forget how good this place is just for loose coins. <gasps> Silver. Does he kind of see me stealing or does he not care? It's only two silver ingots. It's not going to do all that much for us. Let's just get moving. Be careful. Ooh. I'd be dead if not for big Time out. Wait, hold on before we go. Now we're good. Let's go. To Valheim Towers. Away we go. Should be able to get there really quickly. We learned in the last challenge how to stealthily kill, not kill. Well, we did kill a horse, but we learned how to stealthily take them so we can steal horses without actually getting in trouble. What's your favorite pie? Uh, pecan. If I had to pick one, I'm not a big pie fan, mainly because I think the ratio of what is squishy versus what is crust is is a little bit, it, it's a little bit too much mush for me. So like a pumpkin pie, I think is a little bit too much filling versus like crust ratio. I also, I've, I've talked about this before, but I don't like fruit or the vast majority of fruit. I don't like, I'm not really sure what it is. But, you know, things like berries off the table, I just can't do it. I do like pecans, though. And a, a pecan pie is kind of like a glorified cinnamon sugar treat. Any type of dessert that is cinnamon sugar related, uh, you can sign me up for and I will be there day one to inhale it. But I, I think a regular pie, even if if you took the consistency of like an apple pie, and you filled it. Well, hold on a sec. I'm not really sure how to evaluate. I just think in general, I think that pies have a consistency problem. I think the overall makeup of a pie, it, it throws me off. It's too much squish. Incoming rock joint notification. Get the alteration buff. Okay, the horse is gone. Ooh, did she just smoke it? We might make a good team. What are you about to shoot at? Oh, wait, we've got these bandits up here. I forgot about this fight. Is he trying to duke? Is he going with the same thing as me? He's got his fist out. Wait, hold on, Janessa, you can't do that. We have an even matchup here. 
You gotta let us duke it out. Yeah, he's got the same build as me. Let's go. Oh, come on. That's you can't haggle me like that. Or what's it called? What's a hustle? I got hustled. Big damage, but we lived. Let's go, Janessa. I think the shield looks kind of cool, so I'm going to take it over my iron shield. I don't really care about the stats. This one has a lightning wolf on it. Tell me that lightning wolf just doesn't sound awesome. Okay, okay, let's take a note of the amethyst. Let's just take it out. Where did it drop? Oh, that was such a dumb idea. <laughs> the amethyst just dropped somewhere. I think it went under the table. Oh god, it's right there. Can we get it? I have an idea. What if... Oh my gosh, wait. New meta. New meta discovered. Okay. Let me just figure out a way to... Keep moving past it. Great, just do it. It went further under the table. This is way too immersive. This is like me with the remote. <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. Get off the table. You're not helping. Oh, it's not a table. It's a dock. I don't think it'll come out the other side. Okay, so we gotta push it that way. It might be gone. I might have just shot it into the next dimension. I'm finding it. Oh, uh, man, it, it probably caught the hill and then just rolled all the way to the bottom. All right, well, the plan before I screwed that up. We could probably take, like, okay, this character has steel arrows, right? These are worth one gold each. What if we just kind of built up a pile? Since we can't use storage, maybe build up a pile of them? Or, like, if we find, well, that's not going to work. Arrows don't sell well. Steel arrows sell one for one. All right, we have a good opportunity for some training here. Who's that? Rodolph? Is that you? Hey. I'm gonna get Janessa killed. I just got Janessa killed. It's over. She's not making it out. All this work for another follower and my hastiness, my idiotic play style and strategy just got her killed. There's three of them there. You've got a mage in back. You've got blind guy in front and you have two handed sword who is gearing up, ready to swing that thing through her torso. Once again, hubris strikes. Verishal, thank you for the prime. Veilwer, thank you for the prime as well. Tuckruck, thank you for the prime. Appreciate y'all. 
Let's try not to lose this. I guess do what we can. We can use some shield bashing to maybe slow them down. I'm already dead. We got to go healing hands. Try to keep Janessa alive. Now I'm out of magic. Two hander is right next to me. I think Janessa's at full health. So while everything is kind of slowed down here and he's stumbling to our right. Okay, now it's a solo. It's a 1v1. Janessa might be able to finish this off. Come on, Jay. Okay, okay, all right. Crisis averted. Holy crap. Nice, free food. Worth every septum. How many, Juve? How many more victims before your bloodlust has been sated? We don't have a victim here, okay? Jan Janessa made it out, she's all good. I'm, I was a little bit nervous though. Whew, they just came down so quickly. The circumstances changed so fast. Not ready for it at all. But that was good. We, we recovered. Almost a disaster. It almost didn't work, but, you know, we fixed it. Need the shield favorited. Okay, we got them both to stumble. Nice start. Keep ourselves alive. Got to protect myself here. Now let's let Janessa move. She pushes up. We'll go healing hands and turtle. Come on, Jay. Can't be taking that many power attacks. She can't hit him for some reason. Okay, she got one kill. One of them executed. I'm out of magic, though. Problem. Huge problem. I have stamina, though. It just... It just used my shout, but then the shout didn't actually push forward. So we get that guy to stumble. That arrow's gonna kill me. I need to fall back. Sorry, Janessa. Ah, oh, crap. Please don't be dead. Please. Is she winning? She's winning! Janessa, you got this! One more! Yes! <laughs> oh, yes, Janessa! Oh, you are a tank. I love you. When can we get married? I cannot believe she won. I thought she was dead. Oh, that's huge. We didn't die. We're all good. Everything is fine. We got our level up, level 10. Just give me a few more gold coins. 40. Yes, that's what we want. No death. Didn't lose our follower. We're getting some money. There's more in here? Why are there more people in here? I thought that this dungeon was lots, a lot smaller. I don't know if it's worth doing it again. That last fight was already really risky. Two archers up top, one down low. The problem though, I'm actually not gonna push it. I'm gonna be a coward. Because you know what's going to happen? Janessa's going to push the middle of the room without even thinking. We're like, in my head, I can kind of pause the game, break it down, and think, okay, we got Archer up top, another Archer behind them. My job in the fight is to stay close to Janessa if I can, but the two Archers up top, they're going to spread us thin. If we get spread thin in that formation, we are going to get just 
manhandled. We have to take the small victories when we can. Is there a bed out here? Oh my goodness. A bear trap. That just about ended the whole run. That was going to be an uninstall moment if I lost to a bear trap right there. Uh, Valheim Towers kind of scares me a little bit. Janessa's going to push. She's going to get up onto that bridge. It's a really awkward... It's really high up. It's not a gimme of a fight. Yeah, it's still fairly low-level content. I just don't know about it. Two trolls in the cave up ahead. That's not winnable. You gotta let me do the thing before you kill it. Okay, if she's gonna kill it real quick, let's get alteration. Not bad, a little bit of block XP. I don't know, I'm uneasy about Valheim Towers. Bunch of wolves right here, we see them all the time. I'm just gonna turtle up, let her go to work. Twenty-nine. Janessa, what the fuck are you swinging at? Thank you. <laughs> what is she doing? Least calculated movements ever. Maybe I need to put her back onto a one-handed weapon. Mm. You know what standing? Oh, you know what standing stone we should get? I don't remember which one it is, but the one that's in this lake. That's always a really good one. I could use the extra magicka. Uh, doesn't it give you increased magicka regen? Ritual stone could be pretty good too. When you activate ritual stone, doesn't that just revive all the dead bodies around you? It gives you like a bunch of zombies. Oh, the tower. That's right. No, no, we decided on the tower. Oh, I wish these... I need these storm cloaks to turn around. I need them to turn around and go attack this tower. Keep up, Janessa. That bandit, usually that's the bandit that asks us to pay the toll. But they've isolated themselves. I'm going to go right in the front door. You won't get the best of me. Can't unlock that. Trap is easy enough to dodge. Ooh, okay. So here's where it gets interesting. Any emergency moments in the fight, I come back to this chest and grab the potions. Here's another thing that we can do. Take both of these potions right here. Oh, I can't use them as storage. I was going to say, we take those potions and put them in the chest there. That would allow us... Yeah, that would allow us to drink the potions out of the chest. Everyone's obsessed with this deer. Can I push up to that bandit? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try something stupid here. Didn't work. And I just about fell off. This is bad. Okay, let's go around here. Janessa is completely on her own. She's got one archer bearing down on her up top. She should be able to win the 1v1 on the bridge.
There's two bandits to my left. I think I can observe from here, though. See where it goes? Get my stamina back. There's another one chasing her from behind. Okay. This is a bad idea. That arrow just missed my head. Stay alive, Jay. Gravely injured. I think she's alive, though. Janessa will recover in about seven days. We drink the potions in the chest, and now we're back up here. She's not dead. One archer all the way across the canyon. I'm not sure if you can see him. We still have those two potions on the ground that we can use. Let's funnel people outside the door here. All right, one down. Bandit Chief looks like they're following us. I'm not sure what exactly Janessa is going to do up on the bridge. Can't really worry about that right now, though. Still getting shot at. Where are those storm cloaks at? They're too far up the road. Oh, that deer scared the shit out of me. <laughs> the deer came out of nowhere. Okay, we're not doing terrible. I gotta create enough separation, though. Without, yeah, the archers still have shots on me. That's bad. Nice block. Not a good block, but we did some damage. We almost have one of these two dead. But I'm going to lose Oak Flesh here very soon. How much time do we have left with Oak Flesh? 15 seconds? Oh, that's the Chief. Okay. Ah, uh, my stamina ran out. That's bad. Go! Move, you feline! Can't let the Archer get me. Okay, we got some separation. It's just these two. Girl, 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 watch it. That was close. Beautiful log of defense. Throw this log up in between. Okay, now we have enough time for Oak Flesh to come back on. That was close. No clue where the Bandit Chief is going. I think they got distracted by Bambi. You hear that noise? You hear that? That's an arrow. It may or may not be hitting me in the back of my cranium. I have no clue. Doesn't look like it hit us. Go. Now we have a 1v1 versus the bandit chief. Let's get back to the tower so we have more cover. Where are those arrows coming from? Jeez. Where am I getting hit from? They're shooting fast enough. I might actually die from this next one. I, I, I have no clue where I'm getting shot. Absolutely no idea, but they got a read on me. Get me back inside. Pick up the potions, drop the shield. Now we're back to full. Now where the hell is Janessa? Oh, whoa, 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 I don't know where you think you're going. Before you can go out and play with your friends, you need to be, you know, healthy. Oh, she's gonna die. No! This game! No! I just... Oh, Janessa, I tried! 
Why must this game do this to me? Oh, I tried. We did everything right. I'm still getting shot at. Thank you, kind sir. Catching up on the VODs for this series currently, Rip Janessa. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rip Janessa. Pour one out. Pour one out. I'm not sure what y'all were gambling on. I think it was the nine hour mark, right? I needed her to survive five more minutes. My cousin's cat killed that too. You killed your cousin's cat? What a monster. This is depressing. Savvy. That is so much magic. Shopping for a new car, which one's me? A cool convertible or an SUV? Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack, cause now I'm driving off the lot in a used subcompact FREE. -E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Saw their ads on my TV. Thought about going, but was too lazy. Now instead of looking fly and rolling fat, my legs are sticking to the vinyl. I'm getting laughed at. FREE, -E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Offer applies to the Rest in peace, Janessa. Your sacrifice will never be forgotten. I don't really have a sad song to play right now. Oh, she keeps getting caught on the... Okay, a warrior's funeral for you, Janessa. She fought so hard, valiantly, kind of stupidly, but you know what? She tried. We let her down. I let her down. Can't wait for our upcoming Bard album. All my friends are dead. Goodbye, Janessa. I'll do right by one of these followers one of these days. Maybe not today. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, seven, Janessa, you were a real one. She keeps getting caught on rocks. It's ruining the moment. Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? I gotta be able to see her in the waterfall. I swear, if she's stuck here, I... <laughs> Damn it! 
It doesn't work if you don't actually go down the waterfall. You know what? That's a fitting place to leave her. We'll find another one. Oh, this is just a sad journey. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Did that update it? Uh, yeah, we need a free follower. And I think I'm just going to keep the momentum going. We're going to move down this road. There's a free follower down the road if we complete their quest. I mean, we have 262 gold. We can turn in this bounty, get a little bit more gold. Let's check the chest up here. Might be some cash. Did I... Was there a rewards chest here? No, I'm thinking... I'm thinking my bleak falls. I mean, it is right now... Our odds of a uh, follower surviving. It's like we get one follower for each dungeon or encounter we want to clear out. And then that follower dies. I think there's a skill book in here. No. And it's locked. Uh, steel shield might be an upgrade. I am gonna go with the stats here Yeah, there's a skill book take our level up I gotta go magic Can I make restoration any cheaper? Yes Gotta gotta make restoration a little bit cheaper The only thing I can see myself doing that I don't want to do because it would trivialize the run is Elemental Flare. Elemental Flare is so good and so cheap to cast that it would immediately make this character really powerful. Thank you, kind Ooh. sir. Savvy play. Someone stole my sweet troll. Well, yeah, you, go, you better call an attorney. The amount, I, I need a stat count for like how many apples I've eaten on this run. It's been a lot. One lock pick. I can do this. Just a little novice lock. There you go. Nice and easy. For 48 gold. Huge trade. So we can technically start Dawn Guard, but I gotta be honest, it's gonna be miserable. We're just not ready. Stay right there. Okay, so we're back to being drained. That's definitely something of note. I think we can sleep, though, right before we go into this next dungeon. The shield that does bleed. Oh, I forgot about that. Where where do you get that shield? Entrance to Black Reach. 
evolved. <laughs> I think you should get the shield. Oh, how do we get that shield? By doing content significantly more difficult than the one you just did. Well, that doesn't make it any easier. Bed? Oh, shit, he doesn't have a bed. Okay, Goldir might be essential, though, since he's not technically labeled as a follower. Also, I have no clue what happens to Serana. Wait a minute, no, Goldir can die. He's gone. My aunt went in after. Great. I'll unlock the door and meet you inside. Then you can lead the way. Oh, I'm gonna get Goldir killed, aren't I? I barely got through this dungeon. No, I can't do it. I barely got through this dungeon with uh, Wrathman. Uh, the one you're thinking about, RB, is... Conjure, or what is it? What is it? Uh, it's an alteration spell. It's also really expensive. You're going to freeze to death. It's a bad idea. I don't even have flames. I can't. I can't offset. <sighs> Amethyst. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, the final battle in here is going to be way too difficult. I'll get some I'll get some XP from these initial fights so that we can maybe set up Goldier for victory, but then I am going to leave this dungeon. I'll get what gold I can get out of here, what XP we can muster, but I'm not going to go into the final boss room. Let's not die. Love the XP though. Oh, locked. Brown rot. Another disease. Agna. Tell us, why didn't I go in with her? All right, sorry to hear about your aunt, buddy. That really sucks. But no, I, I can't go into that last room. Poison in my inventory? I don't have one. Just the shield. Uh, this is kind of a tough choice, but I'm going to leave the shield behind. I am going to walk this amethyst, this one gem in the middle of the night, all the way back to Whiterun. Am I crazy? Possibly. Stupid? Definitely. Uh, I can't. I, I am like equidistant from Whiterun, Windhelm, Iverstead. They're all fairly close. Iverstead's a bit of a wonky route. It's also way more dangerous. If I go back the route we came, we're probably a bit more safe. Don't know. Harry, not the copy pasta. You know what, at least it looks pretty. Now every time I see this waterfall, I'm gonna think of Janessa. And then I get sad. And I have to upgrade the graveyard. 
That's gonna stink. I gotta crop out the character and Photoshop their head onto a gravestone. It's peaceful, but it's also terrifying. Because if I get attacked, I won't see it until it's two feet in front of me. Be kind of cool if I found that amethyst from earlier. White Run is out of mercenaries. Uh. Could we potentially take Sadia as a temporary companion? And have her follow us? No. I think you just tell her where to go. Cats can see in the dark? There are power. Oh. Oh. Wow. That really didn't help all that much. I mean, it helped a little bit. I only get it for a minute. I will carry this precious gem all the way to Whiterun. I am determined. Could you get Tolfdir and Delphine? I mean, we could theoretically get any follower we wanted. It's just a matter of what's the easiest to get right now, given our current abilities. Maybe try and save some money. Money has been a problem. Barbus? No. No. Honestly, I, I can't do the dogs. I don't know if I have the mod that stops them from barking every two and a half seconds. Which followers did we have already? Okay, so on, in the current graveyard of followers, we have Sven. Sven died idiotically. He ran into a bunch of swinging axes. That was his fault. I do not take the blame for that one. Uh, Uthger died because I was trying to exploit and grind my restoration. So I tricked her into walking into a loose rock on the ground. Uthgird, as a result of our rigorous training, died. Third, it was Lydia. Lydia, I feel bad about. I let her down. You know, in the middle of a tense fight, three armed thugs jumped us just outside of solitude. She held them off bravely. Fought valiantly. And just when I started to break through and figure out a strategy for the fight, I blew it. And Lydia died. Then we had Janessa, who we spent the first two hours of this stream scrounging up money to buy. We bought her services. She fought well. And like the others before her, I let her down and she died. Have you used Feindel yet? We can't. Now we went with Sven. Why did I go with Sven? Well, if one of them were to die, which I guess that prediction of mine has gone pretty well. How many of our followers are gonna end up dying? There seems to be a pattern. I know, there seems to be a pattern of the people I hire to protect me not protecting themselves enough to continue protecting me. It sounds like I just need to hire better. I think my practices in who I bring into my party, they haven't really been ideal. There's a man in Morthal you can fight and then he will follow you. We're going to Morthal. Zero hesitation. Is there somebody I can box in Morthal to follow me? I gotta confirm. Yes, yes, go to Morthal. Yes, there is, yes. Alright, sweet. I can take you to any where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Fifty gold is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous price. That's not a bad idea. College of Winterhold is not a bad idea to get some free followers. How, how many quests do you have to complete, though, with the college in order to get their followers?
Here we go. No. Are those armed thugs? No, they're not. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Finally. After all these times on the channel, I finally get to say yes and mean it. Ha. Huh. Isran's going to like you. Go talk to him. All right, so we got to fight Benor. I'm the best warrior in You want me to prove it? I bet a hundred gold I can take you barehanded. I bet I can take you on barehanded and naked. Just your own two hands. Weapons and magic are out. Now let's see what you got. This is huge. Come on. Shout out to you guys. All right, let's kick ass one more time. Come on, bring it. I don't even have to try. This is so easy. See, Durak? You did right by recruiting me. That was a joke. This guy is supposed to protect me? Now that was a punch. You're a real. You ever need my steel by your side? You just ask. Um. Let's do it. Let's not waste any time. Boom. All right, Benor, welcome to the team. Welcome to a long, successful lineage <laughs> of warriors and adventurers. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots and stay a while. Let me know if there's any... There ain't much to offer. Sure thing. It's yours, Fred. I'll show you to your room. Like this. Cool. Catch some Zs. All right, then. <clears throat> Even rags would be preferable to your current wardrobe. Relax. The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. Uh, oh, they don't have a general store, do they? They have a blacksmith, but I don't think a blacksmith is going to buy an amethyst. JK's might add one in. I take a look. Yeah, you won't buy it. Oof. 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 I can I need to get me an enchanted shield. That's hot. All right then. Oh shit, I should have bought food. I didn't buy food. Where are we at on money? Four, 402 gold, not too bad. I do have to go back to Whiterun though. I completely forgot to get credit for the bounty. And I always forget that Morthal has no fast travel outside. Yikes. Should be some salmon to steal. Yeah, I'm not paying for food. Give me a break. You think I'm gonna pay for this crap? What am I doing that for? I'm hungry. I'm trying to survive. Hmm? Now, I'm pretty fearful. Not gonna lie about if we leave here, the content gets difficult. God damn it, still hungry. No skill books. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll buy some food. <clears throat> Ooh. I think I almost died there. See ya. Okay, I'm probably not going to be able to do anything with this amethyst. I'll hold on to it, though, for a bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. God. I'm going to see what bounty she has. Thank you, Colin, sir. Oh, no. Kill the I dragon located at Skyborn right Altar. Glad to be here now. That, that, that's not a bounty. That is not a bounty. Kill the dragon. Yeah, Are you shitting me? Is that the bounty? 
Yo, 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 I'm taking cover. Benor, you got this? Benor? Oh my god, if I lose Benor here. No, not that healing, healing hands. Okay, this is bad. This is really, really bad. Oak Flesh, heal ourselves up a little bit. All right, sweet. It's going after the guard. You, shut the fuck up. Shut up. I need eyes on Benor. Okay, it looks like the dragon is mostly going after the guards. Benor still fairly close to full health. Okay, right hand heal target, left hand heal me. Guards are getting off some shots, all good. Resto 30. Benor's still not taking shots. Let's see. Let's let them shoot. This is actually huge. If we get a dragon kill here, he's going to drop a couple hundred gold. All right, let's heal up that guard. It's free XP and another fighter. The more non-Benor targets we keep on the field, better chance of him living. I'm out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, no, no, no way, man, I'm dead. No! At the buzzer! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! Benor, where are you at? You good? All right, Benor, get up there, let's go! Come on! Okay, maybe let's not get that cocky. Let's, <laughs> let's get lazy with our confidence. Roughly at half health, he's turning towards me, it looks like. Shit, one guard's down. Uh, Benor, my, I don't know if Benor's making it out of this one, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I think Benor's, I think Benor might be fucked. Yeah, he's gearing up for another fire blast. This is gonna hit Benor right in the face. Can I somehow stun the dragon with... F no. Benor needs some help. Okay, it, it doesn't look like Benor is actually dead dead. Use the rocks as cover. I got a bail. The guard just died. I might be the only combatant left. No, he's fighting someone. All right, he's shooting at somebody else. I'm going for it. It's a dagger. I thought it was a toe. Oh. oh my god. Benor, please kill it. Holy shit. Holy shit, we're alive. Oh my god, we're alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. I thought... Okay, so I thought I just went first instinct. I was like, I gotta grab a weapon off the guard and push into a power attack. And it was a... It was a dagger. I thought I was gonna be grabbing a two-handed hammer or something that would have done pretty good damage. Somehow we keep our boy alive. 
Let's take, dr uh, yeah. Let's take the dragon bone. Yes, Benor lives. We got some gold. We got a dragon bone we can sell. Whoo! That was epic. That was epic. A couple of really, really close calls there, especially when the when the dragon actually got its flames on me, barely getting off the heal in time. Yeah, I'm going to chill here for a little bit. Can we tell campfire stories? Ben, are you badass? You are awesome. I'm still here. Yeah, I know you're still here. You are awesome. Oh, well, you know, a bit of this, a bit of that. They haven't made me a guard, even though I've been asking. So I'll take odd jobs. Anything that comes along for now. Let's go. Yeah. We can sell the scales at the blacksmith. That's big. That is so, so, so big. I don't think that that dragon was the contract. That was the contract. Oh, it wasn't the contract. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong quest. All I saw was collect bounty. And I'm like, no way. That's a different one. It's, we still have kill, kill the dragon located at Skyborn Altar. Oh my gosh. The range of emotions I just went through. Ah, my heartbeat skyrocketed though as soon as I saw collect bounty. I, the finest weapons and armor. Mm, he really won't buy the dragon bone. Come on, dude. Until next time. Help me out. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not bad. Really, he's not. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, so. Maybe I get away with stealing the horse and make my way to solitude? The route to solitude's not intensely dangerous. We've gone through it before. I mean, look, I've already done it on this character. Yeah, I'm gonna steal the horse. Thank you, kind sir. Free horse. All right, let's go. Open the gate first. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think you meant to say jump over the gate. Oh, it's already open. You know, what? just in a fact of malicious defiance, I'm not using your stupid gate. No, 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 no. This is the exit for horses. Heard they're reforming the dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. I've never heard that line of dialogue in a Nord accent, or at least that Nordic accent. The... It's always, heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Not that. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. Hmm? To me, that just sounds incorrect. I feel like whenever I hear the Dawn Guard line, it's from one specific accent. Or maybe I'm wrong. Am I out of touch? Am I, am I off base here? Heard they're reforming the Dong Guard. Th okay, that's funny. I'm not laughing, but it's funny. That's one of those ex exhale quickly out of your nose type laughs. <laughs> what the what? Oh, we're getting spit on by spiders. Time out. Remember when I struggled with Spectrum Internet for a month? Oh, dude. That was brutal. But you know what? 
the people with Spectrum that actually communicated with me and were on site were super pleasant to deal with and very knowledgeable. And one of the people was just awesome. You know, they gave me like exact like details and a whole manner of stuff. So that like I wanted I wanted to know just so that a if somebody else ran into a similar problem, I could help them deduce it. Um, and, and B, I was like curious. I wanted to give you all like context of what exactly was going on. And it was cool you know, that the last person, like I actually traded numbers with them so that they could time out so that they could, you know, personally update me and let me know when they did. They called me and they gave me updates that maybe were a little under the table off the record. Because with corporate IT, typically with problems that involve, involve high-level fixes. You have to go through a ticketing process. There is incident protocol because these incidents have to be managed. They have to be tracked. The people who were in charge of or are maybe detailing said ticket, if, if they're doing it properly, have to keep fairly meticulous notes on things, at least from my experience of incident management. Because that was the first job that I had out of college. I actually, I actually kind of loved it. No, it was not help desk. Different. Oh, this is where Lydia died. Is Lydia's dead body still down there? I'm curious. I doubt it. It's been enough in-game days. Yeah, the bandit bodies aren't down there, so she won't be. When will the root beer stream be? Did I promise a root beer stream? Look, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of different things that I haven't done that I have either alluded to doing or said that we should do that just haven't happened. I don't know if root beer is high on the list. You should probably be in bed. You're Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. 185. Honestly, that's good cash. Because now we at least, if, unless I die like five times and lose a shit ton of money in the cascading waterfall of death, at the very least, if we lose Benor, I have enough to buy Mercurio. Let's get a shield, though. Weapons and armor. Banded iron. Silver armor looks cool as hell. Three hundred for a shield? No, not when I can find one. Definitely not when I can find armor. Return anytime you need arms or armor. So two things that I think we have to do on this run. That have just been not really happening. A, I mean, we have to upgrade our followers' gear. We have to get in better armor across the board, better better protection, better weapon, of course. We need them to be able to keep themselves alive. We need, the, we need them to essentially math their way through fights. We need their numbers to be so much better than the opponent's numbers. I don't have to worry about saving them in combat. Getting to that point might be impossible, though. Which version are you playing? So this is AE before the most recent patch. It's AE before the most recent creations patch, along with like the mods that are on there. Do I allow AE content in the runs? 
I think it depends. Like, Elemental Flare would be the obvious pick for this character to use for damage. But Elemental Flare, I think, is so just not balanced that I'd like to... I'll just avoid it. Like, it's, it's a really big crutch. It's essentially an Adept level skill, or better, but it casts for, you know, novice cost. So you like you really don't even have to earn the ability to fire it off multiple times in a fight. Is Gallo Hall? I'm not sure what you mean. Do we allow smithing, but just to make follower gear? Well, we can't really smith. I've had just about all I'm willing. Let's see that up. I was done talking anyway. The only thing I can really craft are ju is uh, jewelry. And I can't enchant because that requires two items. E oh yeah, that would probably get cut. Would you give quest reward items to a follower? Yes. Yeah, the next time we get an enchanted weapon, I'm probably going to give it to my follower. Spend your money on spell. Oh, you're right. That's a good idea. We're going to have like 800 gold to spend. We got to get some spells. I can take you to any of the... Where do you want to go? Climbing back and we'll be off. Get up there. Why is it Ooh. That's not a bad idea. If we went Meridia's Beacon and gave Dawnbreaker to our companion... And then if we got Spellbreaker and use that for ourself. I think I do want to go for Spellbreaker. The more that I think about it and the more that I think about this build. However, here's the thing. If I die with Spellbreaker, it's gone forever. If I am holding Spellbreaker and die, it's gone. But also Meridia's Meridia's beacon, that boss fight's gonna be tough. With the what is it, the shades? There's like eight different shades that attack you, and then there's the main boss. Too many slots needed to complete spellbreaker quests? How so? At least if I remember Spellbreaker correctly. I don't think you need any specific items. You have that boss at the end who's pretty tough. You have to collect multiple items to start the quest. Oh, you're right. Yeah, at the very beginning. However, could I carry each item individually, drop it off at the shrine, and hand each one over at... Ooh, do they all have to be handed over at once? Or could I hand over one at a time? I've seen it enough. Put on some I serve Jarl Balgro as student. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Okay, extra hundred gold. Eight oh two. Here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Come to it seems this damnable co so you wish to master the arcane arts. These look cool. These robes look sweet. I'm not sure what CC thing adds these uh extra like flavored robes. But I like most of them. They look really cool. All right, I don't want to go Conjuration, that's cowardice. There are so many in here. We are playing with... Uh, uh, shit, I forgot the name of it. Apocalypse. Creeping Cold. 
Deals 10 frost damage per second to health and stamina. After 6 seconds, freezes the target for 64 damage. I mean, crowd control. Pale Shadow targeted is attacked by its own image for 10 seconds. That's pretty good. There's so many damn options here, I have no clue what to go with. Prepare for adventure. So, okay, prepare for adventure is one that I was really hoping we got in the Chaos Mage video. Creates a set of basic enchanted mage items, robes, circlet, boots, destruction staff in your inventory for 208 seconds. That's one that I really wanted to get. Bound weapon? That's not bad, but I, I feel like I should go restoration. Curse is a living target. If the target loses at least 60% of its maximum health within eight seconds, it dies. No. Stone flesh is an upgrade. At least over the one that we have now. <clears throat> Akato's recital stores the beneficial self-targeted non-concentration spell in your left hand. So that would be like oak flesh and cast it for no cost whenever you enter combat up to three spells empty left hand to reset so if i cast this and then i enter combat it will automatically cast oak flesh that seems really good i will take it i will take akato's recital you know if you've got the app so then if I go left hand, oak flesh. The only grown ups who talk to me are the kind I don't want to talk to me. So now the next time I enter combat, it will automatically cast it. You might be able to stack it with stone flesh. Do they stack? There's a tranquility in if they stack, then that's going to really help us out. I have to get some form of armor. I think you'll appreciate this. This this the stone. I can afford it. Your mind is the best weapon you have. So now we put stone flesh in our left hand. Cast this bad boy again. Spell two out of three stored. Okay. So now we need to get involved in some combat. I might save my game here and just test it on an NPC to see what happens. I need to test one thing though. If I go barehanded, it doesn't look like it got rid of the stored spells. Okay, I'm gonna save here. I just wanna see if both activate. If both activate, it should take our armor rating to 100. Both cast, alteration goes crazy. Uh, it won't tell me my armor rating because I don't have armor in my inventory. Okay, let's kill this guy real quick. This is just for science, this doesn't count. No, they do not stack. Armor rating is only 60. Myth busted. Good thing we didn't spend all of our money though because we have brown rot. We gotta get rid of it. All the way back down to 71 gold. 
I still think, though, that that spell is going to be really good. Because if we go... If we go Recital and then Stone Flesh... It's almost like we get a free cast of it as well. So that could be pretty good. Did he ever sell those scales? I did. I sold the bones. Or at least one of them. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. You know what's wrong with school. Children these days, everyone is obsessed with death. Okay, okay. It feels like we're getting a little bit on top of our game here now. Took some growing pains, but we're kind of getting up there. Did we beat Bleak Falls Barrow? I am not sure. Not sure you I'd be dead if not for Big no Damn, it's cold outside again? Come on. What? You're gonna hit me with a debuff that fat, that quickly? What is the temperature outside? It's gotta be like negative 40. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. We did in fact beat Bleak Falls Barrow and it went perfectly well. There were no issues. There were no uh, problems. I got through it smooth and deathless. Yeah, I'm just standing in the fire. We gotta get a little cozy. Get Thrumbo to go with Stone Skin on the... That's not a bad idea. Thrumbo, not bad. Okay, so do I immediately just go Frozone if I step outside? I'm gonna join the Dawn Guard. Vampirism will happen, it will occur, we will get there. But for now, let's just join the Dawn Guard. Where do you want to go? I don't do charity. No gold, no ride. Okay, we're not gonna be doing the Dawn Guard right now. I can't afford it. <laughs> Why am I killing everyone? I'm not killing everyone. They aren't listening to my advice. They're getting themselves killed. I don't know where the fuck to go. Where do I go? Cicero. Yeah, good call. Quick influx of currency into our economy. Hit up Cicero. I know it's not that far, but I'm going to freeze. I'm cold. everybody had a good weekend though i've been a little bit locked in on trying to like figure out where the hell this is gonna go today i know we have our short-term goals but how was everybody's weekend i haven't been able to like check in you know see how y'all were doing nah i don't know i don't want to do transmute it's just boring. It also doesn't provide like any alteration XP. Cause we did, we did a decent amount of transmute. The last challenge. We've done it before in the original Iron Man. Important deliveries to make, no time for chatting. D 
D&D Saturday, BG3 Sunday. That sounds pretty good. I ate lunch next to a fresh and fit podcaster yesterday. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Don't lie to me like that now. How is Kingdom Come Deliverance going? Uh, it's not right now. We haven't played it in a little bit. But I am looking forward to playing it again soon. Uh, I'm in combat now. Oh, that's right. This bandit event. That's free money. That's free cheddar. We take free cheddar whenever we can. Free food. Gonna bite to eat. I'm gonna have to do this quickly. Thank you, kind sir. Wait, are both spells stored in perpetuity? Like, every time I get into combat, is it going to activate that spell for free? It's permanent? Oh, I'm going to Fusro da. Ah, oh, I'm taking mother to a... Can't he just leave us alone? Come on, let's go. Let's move. This is a serious issue, okay? He has to deliver his goon chamber back to his uh, underground lair. What? And just who and Mara's? Look, um, thank. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. Do you have a ragdoll mod? I, uh, you're probably talking about precision. Precision makes the ragdoll collisions with weapons a little bit more reactive. You. It leads to a little bit of jank, but it's pretty good. Gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> Poor mother. Her home seems so very far. Four hundred huge. All right, we're up to 426. You Probably just, something? I got an idea. By order of the Jarl, stop right there. He's from the pale. Uh, that's not good. Smart. I was thinking he was a white run guard. I guess that's the pale. So well, this will take us to Dawnstar. Yeah. We're not soldiers anymore. I mean, it got us to a close town. I just didn't want to walk all the way back to Whiterun. Steal from the chest now. Well, I also can't. You talking about the Dawnstar chest? I would only be able to take gold from it. Or, well, I don't have an inventory slot. No, I don't want to steal from the vendor chest. I don't like it. It's not a very fun exploit for me. Okay, I got to figure out a plan here before I die. I'm going to go in here. I'll warm up in here while I'm warming up in here. I'm gonna Thank run to the bathroom. Can, no lollygagging. I'm gonna let you hang out with you. Don't tell, uh, don't tell me what to do. I can lollygag all I want. In fact, I am a level 99 lollygagger. Pretty good at it. Works really hard on it. Hang out with chair for a bit.
I hope you all were kind to chair. Better bun. I'll find out. Chair always gives me a breakdown of what I missed. One gold, you're broke. Kind of embarrassing. Run a better alchemy shop. Chair wants to have their own channel? Not happening. Nope. If Chair has their own channel and Chair leaves me, what is Ass gonna do? Ass will be all alone. I don't need the- I don't need a chair anyway. Y'all hype up chairs so much. It's bullshit. I don't need a fucking chair. Y'all hype up chair. Like they are actually doing stuff. Stupid chair. I don't need a I don't need a fucking chair. I need a taller green screen. See what you did? You see what y'all did? Now chair is unemployed. Now chair is unemployed. You all did this. It's a standing stream now. We're getting our steps in. Where are you headed? Actually, I should do this more. This is kind of cozy. Gotta move my actual monitor and I'm covering up unfortunately I'm covering up the stats but you know what I don't care right now okay I am taking a boat uh where should I take the boat to oh my gosh this is wild yo I got so much range of movement here this is crazy must be cold in your room no I just have big nipples I appreciate you noticing though, thank you. Good day. Bring back chair or unfollow. Look, chair just needs a break. Look like much, okay? Get you there faster than walking. But I have so much more room for activities now, I finally feel free. I'm no longer shackled to the mesh of my office chair. <laughs> something? Good afternoon. I don't know why the word jupels just makes me laugh. Where are you headed? Uh, Solitude, Windhelm. I really don't know where to go. They're both 50. Probably just go... Windhelm Riften? Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Oh, this would suck. Being on a boat naked would actually suck ass. It'd be so cold. How many caps for a twirl? Three hundred and sixty degrees. I don't know what I'm going to do in the middle of a fight. Like, if, if she gets really intense, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna, like, knock over my desk on accident. Where's Benor? Right there. Oh, 
Hey, leave the follow worrying up to me, okay? Leave leave the follower talk. I'll look after him. It is a bit awkward though. I have to look look down to see where Chad is. I can take where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Get up there. This is strange. The very, very Okay, so this is like the very top of the green screen. If I move the desk any higher, which would probably make it a bit more comfortable, then, then the camera would be over the green screen. It's a very weird thing to set up. Hold that before I let you into or the privilege of any All right, keep your yes, huge, down. huge. We'll take that to level 11. That is massive. Gates unlocked. You can head inside. And... You still have Yoda in your office? No, a uh, little baby Yoda somewhere in my room. You could pretend not to hear me. I'm really getting tired. If little baby Yoda was in the background, then that's an oldie. That's a very old one. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. If you've got the sure thing, it's your. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Come back and see us again. Heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. I feel like Stam. Yeah, I'm gonna go Stamina. Mainly because that Akato's recital spell we have is really good. But what can we, what else can we do in alteration? We can make them even cheaper. Precision spells like Stone Flesh are 100% stronger if not wearing armor. Done. Done. Automatic. Quite literally zero hesitation. I've never hesitated less. Put down your flagon filled with your vile you liquor. Got the coin? You're welcome. The of the Otherwise, of hit the road. No, no, Mama. No, no. We talked about this. Talon, come back and see Hero. us again. Certainly, we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Mama. Pick up the damn steak. There's no need to use them as Okay, we'll grab a shield. And we'll start the Dawn Guard. Of Mara I'm kind of excited having never played Dawn Guard the entire time like in my channel's existence This might be really fun Damn the market's not open Probably a shield I can steal in their house I'd like to have one on the way there because there's no way we get there without anything bad happening silver no, no, no. No. No, no. No, you're a blacksmith. You don't have an extra shield lying around? Gotta have one in here. Boots. Safe. Can't open. What brings you to Balaman today? Repair? Purchase? I used Balaman to more in. smithing work. Yeah, come on. That's where everyone keeps their shield. Right above the headrest on their bed. That's where I keep my shield. Hold on, let's take care of one thing first. It's a tradition. Blah. It's a tradition. It's a tradition. I can speak words. Let's just get it out of the way here. One, two, three. Thank you, kind sir. Happy 20 months, Jew Big Love. None of you is getting oh my god! I think I just snapped her in half. Oh my god. That was one of the most amazing relative assassinations I've ever seen. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. If I could give it a higher rating. Fortunately, I don't want to break the scale. That sets a really poor standard for other executions that might end up on the list. But oh my gosh. It even had like a little struggle in there before the snap of her back. The only thing that I think would make it, you know, I'm going to give it a nine. I can't give it a 10. The only reason I can't give it a 10 is because 
if that animation repeats on any other NPC, that would imply that Grella the Kind has a back just as strong as, let's say, a high-level warrior. Mm -mm, no. If anything, Grella the Kind should just be, like, should just go down real quick. Hmm. I'm not buying a shield. If you need any more smithing. I'm not buying a shield. It's that's too much money. I, I'll save the 300 gold. We'll find a shield out in the wild. Akato's recital is going to automatically cast us 120 armor rating as we go into a fight. Perform skill in the market. Ah, oh, that's a good call. Probably should have. Welcome to Riften, home of the thief skill. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Ooh. Potential victim, do you have a shield? Are you finished ogling the grotesque? Let's ogle the grotesque some more, right? I need a new DLC for Skyrim and it's all ogling the grotesque. Okay, we're going to have one of those. One of those little bastards that shoots really, really quickly and also goes invisible and also. Uh, probably sucks, probably a jerk. Go healing, healing. Push them here. Why is there a ghost? Why do you have ghosts on your team? I'll try and make this quick. Nice, that was a good dodge. That should let Benor get in there for a kill. I think he already got him. One down. Good shit, Benor. Nice. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a ghost. What a fraud. That, my friends, is why we don't buy the shield. Why has it got to be locked? Oh, we need the tower stone. Hold up. How? Ooh, wait a second. Wait a sec. We got a lock pick on him. OK, hold on. This is big. Apprentice. It's no gimme, but I think I can get this in one lock pick. Come on. I mean, it, what else did you expect? What else did you expect? Did you ex did you expect me to falter? 47 gold, put it in the coin pouch. Very, very happy about that one. Good call. Whoever just suggested upgrading the follower gear. Great, fantastic, huge call. This is a full upgrade to steal for Benor. Oh, that's my gold. <laughs> I thought I was about to loot that from him. Okay, so we'll go. Steal armor. Come here, Benor. You're getting a huge upgrade. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Take the steel. Still here. What do you need to take? Take the helmet. Lead on. Looks like the gauntlets are the only direct upgrade left. What do you need to take? Let's go. There's an orcish warhammer sitting here, and I about did nothing with it. The reason why that's so big 
Now, just in terms of gear, Benor is going to outclass, at the very least, Tier 1 Bandits. He can probably take on, I would say, three Tier 1 Bandits without getting overwhelmed. Lead on, then. Massive. And we get our shield. That's big time. I love this skill. Whatever that spell is, cast it one time, have it permanently. Because it also acts as like an alarm. I'm no longer in combat. The next time I see that thing pop off, I will be like, oh, we're in combat now. Very good. I understand the context. I'm following. Free block upgrade off of a fox. We're cooking. We're actually doing stuff. It's coming together. Now, I'm not a vampire yet, but we'll figure that out later. Take Benor's jewels? No, I can't. That would technically count as stuff like in storage. Doesn't feel right to me. Also, I only have one inventory slot. You here to join the Dawn Guard too? Truth is, I, I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best. Dude, I just, I, it's so funny. You just meet this guy. And he starts into a tirade about why he's just not qualified and why he sucks. Like you want, you came here to fight vampires, correct? You did? But you're afraid? And you suck? You were too afraid to walk up there on your own? How are you gonna manage? Get out of here! You're not qualified, not in my Dawn Guard. The oversharer. Ooh, let's see if we can get some block. It counts as combat, so it activates the alteration spell. Uh-oh. Have we found an exploit? Can we, can we thrive off of just bashing bunnies with our shield? What? Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm standing in defiance of chair getting all the love. I figure if I keep chair out of the stream for long enough, by the time I bring back chair, everyone in chat would be like, oh, Nothing really changed all that much. So maybe I overvalued Chair's, you know, contribution to the entire show. Thank you, kind sir. Vive well, Chair. Thank you, Junior. Thank you for eight months. Rowy Twin Tailed Fox, thank you for. Time out. Let me catch up on these. I'm a little bit behind. Rory Twin Tailed Fox. Thank you so much for 20 months. Big love. I appreciate it. Thank you. Adi Adi Lama. Thank you for two months. The Knox. Thank you for the prime. I think I'm caught up now. Sorry, I missed a couple of those. It, I remember Keeper Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin. Not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Karset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, so who are you? What do you want? 
What do I want? I want to listen to the exposition dialogue, damn it. But now I'm stuck here because you cut yourself off. Ah, I'm just looking around. Why do I even post guards? This is the headquarters of the Dawn Guard. Well, it used to be. A long time ago. As you can see, we have some work to do to restore it to its former glory. But maybe you want to help me with that. God, I just love being able to walk around. I can walk. I can, I can move. I have free, free range of movement. I have agility and speed. Okay, never mind. I do not like how much my desk moves when I decide to employ my agility. I'm too powerful while standing. Stencil, good to see you. Thank you for watching the channel. Chair has positive canthal tilt and predator eyes. If you guys don't stop looks maxing in my chat, I'm going to lose it. We're going to have to have like a once and for all final. Let's get all of our looks maxing references out. Let's get them. Let's let's figure these out and figure out which ones we can get rid of. Yeah, mewing, jelking, looks maxing, sculpting, whatever the I saw one where this guy was like hitting his face with a rock. Keep your eyes open. Oh, well, ready to join the fight against the damn vampires. Yeah, I am. Sure. I need someone out in the field taking the. I kind of like Isran. He's edgy. While we're getting the fort back into shape, Tolan was telling me about some cave the vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell her about what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim How am I supposed to take this guy seriously with that facial hair? Adelwald was sure it held some long lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did. Was that actually the style at some point in history? When it was attacked. Like, were there some guys walking around with that on their face, but that was drip? Like, was this? What era was this the look? Like, did the ladies go crazy? There's just no shot. It was it maybe it was like a sign of importance? Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Ah, sweet. I'm going to feel free to poke around the fort and take what you <laughs> I can't wait to make use of it. Yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. It just drops at my feet. It's the least I can do. To avenge my fallen comrades. Dolan, I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained. I for... know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. I'm gonna need you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? Uh, I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you? I'm not a soldier. And you're Thank you, kind sir. Yes, sir. E Isran. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Aw, oh, that's adorable. He's doing a little anime hesitate. What's uh, your weapon? I... Uh... My <laughs> Mostly just use my, my weapon? Axe. Uh, Isran Senpai. I, uh... My paws axe. <laughs> Stendhal preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. Uh, crossbow? Uh, uh, Never. uh, uh, crossbow. uh, 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 Sorry, I won't, uh, I won't make anime sounds anymore. If you actually go with Tolan, can you save him from dying? Found something for you to do, eh? I thought he'd like you. Good luck. Obi Wan? Is that you? Oh my gosh, it's Space Jesus. What do you need? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Dude, do I have to manually walk in and out of the Dawn Guard Sanctuary every time? No, 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 no. There's got to be a way. I have to walk through this whole thing each time, don't I? Did I watch the TikTok video you tagged me in? I probably didn't see it. I don't have TikTok. Or at least I, I don't anymore. I have an account. Could you move the... F I'm... I'm only standing here today in protest of all the hype that Chair gets. Okay, I do need to sit back down, though. It's like at an awkward angle. My standing posture is great, really? I have been posture maxing. Oh, that feels so much better. Yeah, just recline. Just recline backwards. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet I I assume that that was for me and not chair. Anyway, RB, I appreciate it. Thank you for gifting five to the channel. Very kind of you. Hope you're doing well. This feels weird. I feel like a completely different person after standing for all of ten minutes. Get a yoga ball, and then when you ride the horses, it'll be more immersive. That's probably the best idea I've heard in a long time. Ooh. He's not going to go through the loading screen, will he? Nice. Let's get some block XP right now. No, no, no. Stop. Don't don't kill the bunny. I need the XP. Stay right there. Corner him. You can't. Oh, he almost got a bunt. <laughs> almost got him there. Mine. My kill, Benor. He can only hit a really low target like that with the vertical swing. This is making you so sad? What, did we have to kill the bunny? Why did alteration kick on? Familiar Wood Elf. Ooh, big hit. Good stuff. Cash, nothing really. We can drink the potion. Ah, uh, hold on, hold on. Silver Ruby Ring. That's worth a lot. I don't want to store my shield on Benor because that would imply I have to switch him back to a one-handed weapon. I like him with the Orcish Axe or Warhammer. I don't think had to. Wait, what did I say? You don't think had to is the right term? What did I do? Oh, you're talking about smashing the bunny in with my shield? No, I had to. I need the XP. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? You're ogling the dead wolf. Simply attack me. Hypocrite. So where do we have to go to start the Dawn Guard quest? I presume all the way across. Yeah. Yeah, all the way across the whole map. All right, so that's where we get Serana though, right? We go over there, we get Serana. 
and potentially get her killed? Would it break the quest? I don't know if we can really take... I don't know if we can take Serana the whole way. That doesn't feel in the spirit of what we're doing. Because I assume she's essential. But I don't know how the mod we're doing with follower death. I'm not sure if that applies to people like Serana. And I feel like if we're going to have a permanent follower, it makes more sense to have it apply to all of our followers. Let's keep him right here. Stop. Stay. 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 Don't move. I need to ask you to stop. Good. Glad we straightened that out. Is that another courier? Don't move. Stay put. Stay. No. Damn it, Benor. You're ruining my XP enterprise. Is this Imperial just going to get shot at? He is. This is a Stormcloak area. What are you doing, dude? He's just a courier. Come on, officer is... Oh my god, is this necessary? He's just delivering mail. Why did he have to do that to him? Oh, he destroyed him. And then he's gonna look at me and be like, I have to ask you to stop that shouting. It's immoral, disgraceful. Now hold on, excuse me while I split this guy's skull in half and then not even think about it or react to it. He sees red whenever he encounters an Imperial. They must die. Any reason for us to pop our heads into Riften? Fast travel. You know what I haven't been doing? Why have I, I haven't muffle spammed? I haven't done any muffle maxing at all. That just feels like Shoddy game planning. Ah, perform at the market for some gold. Good idea. Running a little light in the pockets, lass. Your pockets. It's all about the way they walk. Look how you sniffed out my wealth is my business. I've got a bit of and in my line of work, simple. Once you have it, I want, there's someone. Now, you tell me when you're good. Wait until I start the distraction. All right, we're going to let him start the distraction, and then we're going to double down on his distraction to profit off of the distraction. Quick, everyone, gather round. My magical naked Khajiit will play you all a tune. No pushing, no shoving. <clears throat> Everybody, please, thank you. Have some respect for the performer. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence, and it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed I, with water. I see you back there. Now, that was a simple misunderstanding, but this item. Yeah, they're clearly fans of my previous work. They love the classics. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the snow elves? The one and only. Although I only see like one or two of them reacting. Okay, 46 gold, I'll take it. I'll take it, sweet. Not gonna bother helping Brynjolf. I <laughs> didn't even try, didn't even attempt it. Got the coin? You're welcome here. Are you joking? You just drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Back and see us again. If your allegiance lies with the Empire. I have no chance at this. I have zero chance at this quest, right? 
Like, I'm, I'm gonna get destroyed here, aren't I? I can take you to... Where do you want to go? Hopefully. But if I believe, I do believe. That's gonna be a tough run. Yeah, Dawnstar is a bit of a hull. See ya. We're gonna give it a try, though. Carriage, the... Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, yeah, let's do this. We got this. We're gonna be okay. We have a shield. Ask for we upgraded Benor's gear, so he's at least kind of tier two, hovering towards tier three. It's gonna be freezing cold on the way over there, so we gotta get over quickly. Bring fire magic? That's a good idea. Do I have enough money to buy a fire spell? I do need a little bit of destruction. Ah. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can really afford that right now. I think I'm tired though. Yeah, we're really tired. So I'm gonna make sure we get our sleep in first. That's important. I have to have my, you know, regen. Oh, did you need something? If we lose regen, then it's gonna be kind of impossible. It has to be. I I've gotta get out of this town. <laughs> no worries about being late, Dizzy. It's all good. Good to see you. Need a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Listen to your friend. Bright and early. Let's hope for good weather. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite dear. Normal. You really ought to put some drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Sometimes the. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't actually pick up the shield. They must be an old man. Frost. My children all grew up and left Dawnstar to make their food. Wait, how would he die three and a oh, oh, you Do I have to do that? I don't, don't want to explain. I feel like I've explained it a lot of times. Every time I start explaining it, chat's like, no, don't explain how people gamble. Everyone gets mad at me just for explaining how lines work. But it's set to a half number so that there's a definitive winning group and a losing group. If you pick an even number, then it's possible that it ties. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One fear I have is that we roll up to this place and there's a lot of action on the outside. I do worry that there might be some kills and encounters on the outside. If we can keep the one random alive, that'll be good. We're going to need them for sure. Thank you, kind sir. Let's Watch let all these bandits get killed. Some gold. Akashika, thank you very much for five months. Why are you coming after me? That's a steel hammer, so I'm not even going to chance it. I missed. Uh, that about, that was it. That was about it. was close don't no dude i came here for a warmth checkpoint i'm helping you my follower's dead i gotta go my follower's gonna attack him where's benor this is a disaster benor benor do not engage i don't even know if benor is here if benor is not here if he somehow isn't following us correctly I just have to separate from this fight as best I can. Please. For the love of Skyrim, please, Benor, just teleport to me. Ignore the giants. Are they still, are they really still, they're still following me. Is that a bandit? It looks like Lydia.
You clean? Isa? Uh, yeah. She glitched? I'm not even in the right spot. The giant just took damage. Oh, shit. Oh, is that? Be Please tell me that's better. Benor has lived. I love you. I love you, Benor. I hope you know that. Don't ever, don't ever let anybody try to convince you of otherwise. Not sure what her deal is, though. Yeah. Isn't she supposed to be fighting a bunch of bandits? That is a snowy saber cat. No. Why red? Why enemy? Why combat? Fuck. Uh, Benor? Is that Benor? That is Benor. That's Benor. He is running straight through them all. I don't know what he's doing. He's going up the highway at full speed. He's getting chased though by someone. We got to help him out. No, not that one. Not that one. Benor, turn around. The enemy is behind you. They do a lot of damage. Let's heal up Benoit. I'm going to need you to power attack so you can actually hit them, buddy. I wish I caught that swing. That was sick. He hit him like right across the face. My shield was blocking the whole shot, though. Not really sure how to get to this cave other than mountain climbing. Can I add a muffle to the auto caster? Oh my god, I can. That's so smart. So we add muffle. That means every time we get into combat, we're going to get illusion XP and alteration XP. Great call. Just another chat or good to see you. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully they've made you laugh, cry, shit your pants. Uh, and have fun. That's 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 the number one goal. Number one goal is to make a stupid fun adventure. I hear chatter. Chatter usually means combat. Okay, somebody just unsheathed. I don't know if I can get up this mountain. I think I had a disease. That could be huge. God, I, I want a novice hood so bad. I'm I'm so confused. Thank you, kind sir. This fucking green screen, dude. 
Oh wait, the black line is my monitor. That's what it was. It was the monitor. Rotate the map. I need a van. Oh, I do. Uh, not vans. What's it called? Clairvoyance. Oh, I can get up here. This is light work. I don't know how I missed this little path. Okay, a little bit of a snag here. No worries. Don't worry, I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Don't try this at home, okay? This is a very dangerous method of rock climbing. Oh yeah. You're not stopping me. What if we threw some geometry in the player's way? They won't find a way around it. You bet your ass I will. Yeah, we just had to get a foothold on that little rock. Boom. There we go. Nice and easy. All right, now to get up this hill and for something to kill me at some point. Stormcloak. Imperial. Why are there two dead bodies underneath the ground? Good, we got Benor. We're gonna have to find some food while we're in here, though. Oh shit, I've been in this room. Oh, we're so toast. Oh no, 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 wait, actually, guys, can we not do this quest? We're so fucked. There's, there's the Bloodhound in here. I think that's what they're called. I want to say there's a master vampire in this room. Let's use this vampire fledgling vampire. Okay, so fledgling should be the first target because they'll go down quickly. Standard vampire, maybe a little bit tougher. It only sounds like two. I need all the advantages I can get in this fight. Let's get our stamina back. Let's not run it all the way out. Okay, if we attack from this side, no clue where Benor's at, but if we attack from this side, we can hopefully... Okay, I think they found Benor. Let's go for it. Stumble. Push. Holy shit, they went down. 
fledgling. Dead? Come on, Benoir. No, are you serious? You lost to the dog! Of all the people, Benoir, you couldn't beat the dog? That shout might kill Benoir. No, okay, he lived. How does he lose to the dog? Oh, I have no stamina, damn it. That was close. The dogs do cold damage too. Can use the geometry of the map to push him back a little bit, but now I'm out of stamina. We gotta wait for him to recover. He somehow pushes through that, I'm dead. Shit, man. <laughs> hey, at least Benor lived. And he's got a cool little scar. Alright, Benor looks cool. Thank you, kind sir. Hey, watch it. Damn. I mean, we got a lot of XP in that fight. That's the only positive. Lost my shield. All right, we'll find a new one. Stamina. I have to somehow get rid of or make shield bashing cheaper. Deflect arrows. Come on, there's got to be one in here. A successful time to block within eight feet. You may retaliate with increased strength, increasing your attack damage and critical strike damage against... I don't really need that right now. Okay, here's the like the power bash tree. This one is really good. Bashing deals 3% more damage per point of stamina. So this means bashing would deal like 300% more damage than it already does. You aren't as attractive as you'd like to be. Ah, whoa. Roasting me for no reason. This is actually no fucking way. Thought I heard something. I'll spare you. Oh, I thought I got I guess I did get caught, but I have no I don't know what's happening. I got no clue what's going on. We're I mean we're we're not strong enough for that dungeon. We gotta get stronger. I think we're at least close to like, uh. <clears throat> I mean, I think we're close to like getting to a state where we're gonna be able to grind and level up our skills a lot more. But I do feel a little stagnant. It sucks, dying sucks. Sun spells. Get the shield, Targe of the Blooded. Yeah, is that the same shield that would require completing an even harder dungeon than the one that kicked my ass? <laughs> we'll probably be fucked. We gambled on it, you can't sure. back out. No, it's not that I want to like back out. I just think I need to do more prerequisite stuff, I guess. Like most of the challenges we do, this one is probably going to balloon into a much bigger adventure than I planned. Dawnguard Shield does extra bash damage against vamps. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I'll have to, I'll have to think about it. This is kind of tough now. 
we're in a we're in a spot where i think we need to like take a step back and think about the approach why am i in combat Man, you gotta be shitting me <laughs> i was like what is going on i mean when opportunity knocks i was about to end the damn stream now i want to beat this dragon When I say I want to beat this dragon, I mean everybody else does all the work. Benor, no, don't. Why are you doing this? Benor! Benor! I think the, 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 oh God, now he's just going right after Benor again. Somehow Benor is alive. How? How is he alive? You're a hero, Benor. Okay. I just have to have that one prepped in case I get hit. Heal the guard. Heal Benor. Don't don't charge forward. Thank you, Come on, everybody, as a team, as a team. He's gonna land in the same spot again. I think this dragon's pathing is goofed up in a way. How in the hell is Benoit alive? I don't understand this, but I'm not gonna accept it. Just stay alive, buddy. You got this. Come on, you and me. I need you to start actually hitting the dragon, though. You're too far away. Okay, all right, I'm hitting it in its balls. If I scratch its balls enough times, it might go down. New strategy unlocked, okay. We just have to get underneath the dragon scroat and start swiping at it. Hundred and sixty one gold. Uh, the dragon bone is still worth the most. Oh, my God. We're in the middle of town. This is huge. This is massive. OK, here's what we're going to do. We take some dragon bone. Which one of you is the blacksmith? Any of you? We take dragon bone. You. No, go back to work. Stop looking at the dragon. I have to sell you dragon parts. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, it just hit me now. The last dragon we killed when we filled our one day inventory slot with dragon bones. Somebody probably yelled this at me in chat and I missed it. We can stack them. I don't have to just take one. It takes up the inventory slot, sure, but only one. Whoopsie, careful. Smells like passive income. You're goddamn right it's passive income. I feel like the dragon attacks are... Those are our best economy play. I don't know how much time has to pass, though, before everybody goes back to work. This is general store right here. Do they not have a general store? Oh, 
I know, I just forgot about stacking things. Oh, fudge. Yeah. Take a look. Farewell. Game changer. Game changer. Yes. Take a look. Until next time. Huh. I have over a thousand gold. I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. Take the garnet. Right back over here. I need more Dawnstar dragons. Yes? Hmm? Need something? Take a look. Farewell. Yes, take a look. Good day. Okay, feeling better. Feeling better. We we suffered a loss. Somehow Benor is. Al I don't. I don't understand this guy. How he's alive? No clue. But why the dog? What is up with that dog? Death Hound. That's what it is. The Death Hound. That thing's tough. And it attacks with ice damage as well. So when it hit me, I slowed down, lost stamina. That's brutal. I can't really even afford to take it on. If, if, even if I block its attack, it's going to eat my stamina. God, so tired. Thus costing me even more stamina. Okay, somebody mentioned if I wanted to level up restoration, we could stand on the forge. Right, this is a great idea. Why have I never tried this before? Cook away, Seren! Light a fire, my furs. I hope my husband lost my brother. He's a magic steel. Yeah, we 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 gotta we gotta get back into more exploitation of the uh, game systems. The only chance I have at completing any of this game's content is to just fast track some of my progression. Brain blast. Brain blast. Brain a fucking blast. Jimmy Neutron style, baby. Hold on, I was gonna end the stream like 20 minutes ago because I was feeling depressed and sad about the slow progress we were making, but now, hold on, my brain's a churning, the gears are spinning. Follow me into greatness. If you remember right before we went into that cave with Serana, the one we died in, what did we see right before we went into that cave? Hmm? Anyone in class who's been paying attention? We got warm food, warm drinks, warm bed. Need a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Let's sate that appetite, huh? Oh. Throw you to your room. Right this way. 
Dead bodies, frost damage, invisible corpses. No, 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 no. You're all wrong. The Elder Scroll, not quite. Vampires, no. Spells, maybe at some point, but that is not what we saw. They're getting tired of my shit. I've been in town long enough. They're sick of it. Frost took my husband. Thoring runs the inn. Speak to him. Okay, well, where is Thoring? I need a bite to eat. She sounds like a really bad American Idol audition. Or I guess not bad, but she sounds like an okay American Idol audition. Anybody answer the question? Anybody get it right? Hopes and dreams. Perform. We could perform. Get a little bit of free cash. Good idea, but no, not exactly what I was talking about. You'll know, you'll know a shield, a gate, Lordstone, no, no, and no. What we saw right before we went into that cave, Need something? a vigilant of Stendar, dead, in apprentice robes. We're going to temporarily use the apprentice robes for magic restoration, and we're gonna grind the shit out of restoration sorry. and illusion. Just somewhere else. You need a room. Check the restoration tree. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. First, we got to get the robes. So we're going to pass on the shield for just a little bit longer. Once our magic, though, is squared away, I feel very confident that combining it with the shield is going to make us very powerful. Just came back. What's happening? Uh, well, I, <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to shout. I appreciate that. Thank you. Please, please, inside voices. Uh, we're running over here to find a dead body. Upon that dead body. Upon that dead body, we are going to find restoration, or maybe not restoration robes, but robes that will restore our magicka. We could go one of two directions. We could take the hood to buff our overall magicka, or we could take the robes to buff our general regen. I think general regen might give us more bang for our buck, though, in terms of like waiting and passing time. Oh my God, the robes of restoration! Wow! Amazing! And we have clothes! Look! No more naked cat! Don't worry, don't worry. Naked cat will be back. Uh oh. Careful. Careful. Am I... Am I cooking? Did someone let him cook? Who let this guy cook? Me. That's who. A cat dog build? What is that, a uh, werewolf? I don't want to do Conjuration. There's been like 5 million different suggestions for using bound weapons, bound shields. I'm still almost positive that they take up an inventory slot. And Conjuration, let's be frank, y'all. Conjuration is fucking boring. <laughs> I gotta be honest. 
I like having a follower because followers have some personality to them. Conjuration. I think I, I think I will get enough conjuration when we eventually do Solstheim Legendary Permadeath. Because conjuration is almost required there. But there's just no fun mechanics really with it. You know, it's cast and then do the thing. Four. Quite frankly, I should have done this at the very beginning of the build. It feels like the run just started. I might run out of followers. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. In, you know what, Benor has done a lot for us. Benor's been around. And look, he even supports us in our dreams of burning our feet. kill me I got a little excited with the jumping look how happy they are to assist me in my grinding you see this is what happens when you save a town from a dragon attack they sorry wash the feet Thirty five. got ourselves a level up now we're cooking our feet more specifically that is what is cooking I'm not fucking around anymore. Let's go for a double, maybe a 360. Holy shit, I almost died. <laughs> that was very close. Where are my hands? They actually disappeared for a second there. We're only at 36, we gotta get to 40. Do I know what days I'll be streaming this week? No. Honestly, I never do. I do plan on having the 30 days video done on Friday so that that one can finally go out along with the 30 days super cut so that people who, you know, want to understand what the whole thing was like but don't want to go through 25 hours of VODs. So we'll have both of those basically go out on the same day. Uh, and I know my wonderful team already has the first two VODs of this one. And hopefully, our, our hope is that we can start kind of moving through projects a bit faster. Because they have taken a really, really long time recently. Just 
one more level. Just one more level. God, restoration is a little bit of a... A little bit of a bastard with the XP, huh? Alright, 37. Now what's sick about these robes, I'm gonna run back to the inn to sleep. Save some progress, level up. Well, what's cool about the robes, I'm not even done running all the way over there. Boom, magic is all the way back. Let's hit some muffle real quick. What's the point of making the game so hard? It's an it's fun. It's a challenge. It's uh it's an experiment. What are we able to do? What kind of problems can we run into? Um it leads to breakthrough moments. The reason why it's so fun to make something incredibly challenging is because it changes how your mind operates and sort of wraps it kind of changes how you understand the mechanics of a game and explore them in various different ways. Yep. Like when you make a game impossibly hard, the stupidest and kind of most like, not, not necessarily the stupidest, but the most boring interpretation of it is, oh, it just makes the people do more damage and you take more damage or you deal less damage. Well, sure, but also, you know, you have to think about how can I get myself more damage? What mechanics can I engage in that will get me higher number and make me harder to kill? And when you go over the top with sort of restrictions and a challenge, then you have to really think like we only have one inventory slot, right? So how do we handle crafting? How can we acquire food? What are the best ways we go about outfitting a companion or completing a quest? How do we carry quest items from point A to point B? Those questions are kind of fun to explore and answer. Good day. If that makes any sense. That's like the general idea of like at least a super limited run or some kind of challenge. Also, when you keep the concept fairly, I guess, easy to understand, like one inventory slot, then it's easier to kind of follow along with. And then take that sort of idea and extrapolate it to every game. What I like the most, though, is finding those breakthrough moments where, like, you get that perk. You know, you worked really hard for that one perk that specifically changes your one play style. Like, for us, if I was playing Skyrim normally, I never really would look into the block tree. But looking up here and looking at this perk, whoop, that says bashing deals 3% more damage per point of stamina. We get our block to 50. That right there. That's a breakthrough moment for us. We get him, we get our follower, an enchanted weapon. Maybe an enchanted weapon that on a standard playthrough I wouldn't use. Now it has this increased value that's completely different. Also, I do have two perk points. All right, Resto. I can't believe it's only 37 still. Dual casting, no. Edgewalker. Restoration spells are 30% more powerful if the recipient is below half health. This bonus increases as health decreases. That's pretty good. Two spirit tutors roam Skyrim. Find them and speak with them to receive a permanent blessing that makes restoration spells 1.1% stronger per 20 points of magicka. Each spirit tutor grants one blessing. Interesting. I don't know if I want to like look around looking for these people. Tone of many tome of many pages teaches 18 different restoration spells. Each fortifies a single skill by 15 levels for two minutes. That requires 90. When you enter combat, rapidly regenerate points of magic at equal to half your restoration skill level per second. <laughs> Again, that's a zero hesitation. We're taking it. This effect gradually diminishes over the course of 15 seconds. Yeah, no, we're taking that. 
The first ward you cast in combat costs no magicka to maintain. Your attacks and restoration spells and effects are 20% more powerful against undead enemies. That's pretty good. Do vampires count as undead? Study the arts of disease, learning the Putrefy spell. When your restoration skill reaches 50, you can learn Death Cloud. When your restoration skill reaches 75, you learn Carry On Wind. These spells deal disease damage to non-mechanical targets. That gives us a combat spell at 40. A combat restoration spell at 40. Non-mechanical targets. I'm going to take it. Next level up, we're going to take that perk. Feel the burn. This is what training is like. Damn, not a single level from that, though. Is this animal abuse? Well, it depends whether or not you consider a Khajiit an animal or, I mean, or a, or a person. A Khajiit is bipedal. Thank you, kind sir. All pain, minimal gain, baby. Coda, I don't, I wouldn't say minimal. Well, the XP is not a lot. The XP gains suck. Do we have a standing stone? Yes, the mage skill or the mage stone. Are we well rested for the 10%? I don't, I don't know, y'all. Damn. All right, I, I, all right, I'm, I'm operating at 85% efficiency. I'm sorry, chat. I'll use the hearth at the end next time. I'll get the right stone. I'll get the right the, the right outfit on. I'll do the. I'll, I'll make sure that I'm doing tick perfect spell casting. Take it easy. It's a grind. We're gonna get there. We'd be depressed in ending the stream while I'm gone. No, no, I'm feeling good now. We have a path forward. I felt a little stagnant before, but now I feel good. Are we at Restoration 40 yet? Jeez. Alright, sweet. Resto 40. Let's hit Muffle.
Yeah, you gotta have some goddamn faith. I got a plan. I got a plan. Alright. Uh, illusion kind of sucks, though. I don't even think this fire hurts me. Yeah. Doesn't do nothing. Absolutely stealing my rent automatically every time. Never not stealing my rent. Need something. Need a room? Take a look. Thank you, kind sir. The baby is here, Juve. I have named her Bartholomew. You may have visitation privileges on every other holiday, seeing as you didn't come to any of the appointments. This is a local thing. You never informed me of any appoint appointments. Did you have the right email? You might have sent that to my other Twitch baby mama's <laughs> email. You might have sent you might have sent it to the wrong one. You know what? Actually, actually, I don't care what anyone says. I'm going back into the fire. I'm addicted to it. I need more of it. I need it all. I want it. I want it all over. Thank I want you, all the restoration sir. XP I can get. Up, How's it going? I'm tired of getting my ass kicked in this challenge. It's time for us to claw back, to take advantage, to, to get on top of the mountain. Thorn, thank you very much for the prime. This really is that RuneScape grind set. Honestly, not even close. I've seen some of the grinds that people have done in RuneScape. And it's absurd. Stop forge maxing. There are other effective ways of doing this, please. You know what? Shout into the void. I got my own way and I'm happy with it. It's working. Look at that, look at that, we're already at 41. Why am I standing in fire? Uh, we're grinding our restoration skill because we have been getting our shit rocked the whole challenge. Am I gonna? Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. We're using our one inventory slot to have restoration robes on so that we can jump and fire repeatedly and level up restoration. I trained in Hammerfell during my journeyman years. Redguard Smith. Now, it, it would be really funny if I died. You know, if I was only committed to the content, I would let myself accidentally get killed here. Nah. It really only works if I'm actually tragically upset about a death. Now, not angry about one, okay? What I got angry earlier, that doesn't count. We don't want that. We don't want actual annoyance and anger. I don't want to get tilted. Things have progressed from bashing mud crabs with a shield. <laughs> it's actually kind of a funny juxtaposition of like, 
we were doing the most meaningless bullshit earlier for XP, and now it's like even worse. to 43 come on now keep it rolling yeah okay these levels are taking quite a while now runescape stream when i don't think runescape would be a fun game to stream to be honest i mean like maybe if it was just straight up background noise to some other topic that we were talking about but i'm not good at the game i don't know the like mechanics of runescape i don't know how to prayer flick i don't know how to flinch or i guess i did kind of flinch to take out i think i was doing the lost city quest uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't even, I don't know nearly enough about the game. And what might you need? Hmm? Need a room? Sure thing. It's yours. For I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Which is most important? Both Magicka and Stamina. Not gonna lie, they're both huge. We'll go Magicka for now because we're still in the process of grinding. Rather than take the Restoration perk that I know I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna take Illusion. I gotta make Muffle cheaper to cast. We need to get some level ups here. Yes. Take it to 32. Let's just chill for a little bit. Illusion is really, really easy to grind. What happened to Janessa? Anyone want to tell him? Anyone want to break the news? She's currently on vacation. Uh, she's doing some whitewater rafting. She's in a better place. No, no, she's not. No, she, she's not. She's at the bottom of a waterfall, probably with all of her limbs broken, shattered. Not my fault, though. No, I don't accept responsibility or consequence. She didn't even hold on to the mead. She didn't let the mead ring out. <laughs> the riveting skill grind you were hoping for. Yep. It's what it's one of those. I was going to end the stream like 45 minutes ago, but no, let's get the grinding out of the way. Bard's college fell off. Ooh. 
Who's worse, her or the orc bard in Morthal? I'm gonna say her because she gives off privilege, whereas Lurbuck the orc, literally Lurbuck's own father puts out the hit on him. You are Lurbuck's own father does the black sacrament to kill his own son. Now, of course, I made a mockery of him while murdering him, laughing at him and all that, but then I realized the tragic backstory. Lurbuck's drums are kind of good. Are we going to do another stupid tier list? Oh my god, we should. We should. Should we tier list all the bards <laughs> in Skyrim? <laughs> we should. That shit would be so fun. Analyze, analyze every single aspect of the character. People really liked it when we did one of the most viewed streams on the entire VOD channel is when we tier listed all the jails. That's like one of the, I, it was mostly a joke. So I'm trying to think we have, <laughs> we just said Larbuck gives good head. Why? <laughs> just shut up. So my TV in my bedroom, it keeps flipping to the VOD channel. And how hilarious is it? How big I used to be on the screen. I was huge. I don't know why I thought that was okay. Who would be in the universe? Who would be the in-universe judges for the Bard tier list? Um, probably... Who's the lady who gets married in the Dark Brotherhood? Whose wedding you have to crash? I forgot her name. I'm like on that part of those streams too. Vittoria. I think Vittoria Vici, because she's like the influencer of Skyrim. She would definitely be on... She would be on the uh, panel of judges, for sure. Just because she's clouded up. So she would be on the judges. This is actually a tough question. Like, yeah, who's the in-universe Simon Cowell? I don't really know if there is one. Cicero Dark Horse? Maybe? Ah, uh, the gourmet is not a bad idea. He actually does have clout. Bulgriff? No, Bulgriff is a Yarl. He's too busy Yarling. Uh, the head of the Bards College, Viarmo, is that his name? I think Viarmo would work. I would say Vittoria, Viarmo, a lot of Vs. Maven Blackbriar. No, you're not. You're not thinking in the right. You're not thinking in the right. You know area. Maven Blackbriar is a criminal. She has no time to be a judge on a on a TV show. Something. This one's a thing. Our hero, our hero claims a warrior's 
heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes with a voice wielding power. I need a button that's like the voice. Because we can do all the. I don't have enough room. I'm going to start. I want to do it like the voice. I don't have enough room. Like, I want to listen to the bards. Like, I'm on the voice. I need to be a voice judge. Fuck! And then the whole crowd goes crazy. I unplugged my whole ass headset doing that stupid joke. Chair and Mike are fighting. <laughs> Let's hear it. She's kind of nice on the flute, though. Here, I'll get closer so you guys can hear her voice better when she starts singing. This is soothing, isn't it? Whew, that was close. She almost talked to us. Deftly avoided it. Yo, did anybody else? Okay, this is kind of a weird blast from the past. Did anybody else in grade school have to like play the recorder? If you're not sure what a recorder is, it's a really shitty flute. Yeah, you did? Okay, y'all remember hot cross buns? You remember that one? Did everybody have to do that or was it like is that like a thing everybody has to do? Yeah, they were nasty. Slobbering on them and blowing into them. <laughs> nasty. It's not a shitty flute, it's a shitty clarinet. We'll see. I played the Oak Arena. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. But I'm going to assume you ran around at recess with your arms behind you like in anime. Did you do that? Be you can be honest. This is not a judgment zone. I'm, I'm not judging. I'm just... I'm just trying to see if my intuition here is correct. I did for a bit. Who did? Okay, all right. Show of hands. Show of hands. Who Naruto ran when they were younger? And if you if you still do it now, because if you it, it, when when I was younger, okay, I did make fun of it, but now it's twenty twenty four. Anime is cool.
to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Good to see you, Lilith. How are you? Did I say good to see you? Anyway, I'm just playing around. If you still run like you're in an anime, you're uh, you're cool in my book. Maybe Naruto running is only cool if you're using it to invade Area 51. My God, I forgot about that. that it's bringing me back a bit. That was back uh, the, the the Area 51 raid. I was working night shift at my first job out of school when that happened. And I remember we were like watching the live streams because it was a pretty slow night. We didn't really have much to do. I actually galloped like a horse thinking we had what we had. We had a, a, a girl in our class that would do that too. The galloping. You galloped too? We got gallopers in chat. All right, all right, all right. You're in the same class. Me to win three gallopers? There's, so this is why kids suck, right? Because kids, you know, express their passion about things very differently, right? And it's like, if you're really passionate about horses and you think horses are cool as fuck, then that's tight. That's awesome. But like, sometimes the way kids are is like, oh, well, we'll do the, like the gallop running all around school. But then kids are such dicks, they'll be like, oh, you're a weirdo. You want to be a horse? It's like, no, I just think horses are cool. Okay, and horses don't bully me. So yeah, fuck you. I lived near farms with horses, so hell yes, I thought horses were cool. I've never interacted actually with horses really. I have given them like a couple sugar cubes when I was very, very young. And those things are like majestic. They're just huge and strong. Was I was a galloper confirmed? No, I. I I wasn't a galloper. I was too afraid to like be passionate about anything because I was always afraid of being cringe. So you know what? I respect the fuck out of the gallopers and the Naruto runners. Those people are cool. Those are actually the coolest kid in your class. If you're somehow watching this on the VOD channel or at any point in the future, all right? Let's say you're, uh, okay, I don't think there's that many like younger kids that crawl across my content, mostly because they don't play Elder Scrolls games or are that interested in the, in the stuff I do. But if somehow you do, and you're a Naruto runner, you're cooler than the kids in your class. Because deep down, they're too afraid to be passionate about anything other than like sports. But like, yeah, sports are cool. But not as cool as horses. Although horses, I guess, are sports involved. I don't know. I'm trying to be fake deep here. I don't know where this bit is really going. Be cringe, be free. What about F1 racing? Are they not cooler than horses? I mean, yeah. F1 is uh, pretty cool. F1 is cool. Why be into sports when you can roleplay John Morrowind? I think roleplaying John Morrowind is probably why I sucked at sports when I was younger. Like, I've told you guys this story before about how my my parents were actually willing to, you know, invest in like 
this baseball coach that would actually like work out with me in the off season and he did genuinely make me a, a better more confident ball player um, because I was never very good and I was never appreciative of the fact that my parents did that for me and he gave me like some of these workouts and stuff to do at home this would have been around my freshman year of high school but this was also like a year after New Vegas had come out and I didn't get to play New Vegas right away at release. So I had finally gotten New Vegas from my friend and I was just playing the shit out of it. Every night I get home from school. You know, like every night I get home from school, I'm putting six hours into New Vegas or I'm getting home from school, putting two hours into New Vegas, going to do my baseball shit that I didn't really care about and then coming back home and playing New Vegas. And on the ride back is when I sort of had that heart to heart with a parent where they basically go, you're playing the damn game too much. It's never going to turn into nothing for you. <laughs> That's not even close to what my mom sounds like. It ain't turning into nothing for you. Baseball is boring as fuck. Uh, I disagree. I disagree. Uh, I mean, it is a game that I almost feel like you have to grow up kind of watching it a little bit or maybe even play it, of, you know, for a year or two. But... Holy Christ, she is horrible. She is awful to listen to. I'm changing locations. I will, happily. I can't listen to her anymore. Audio? Did the audio on stream fuck up? Oh, it was doing the choppy audio thing? How about now? Fixed? Good. Okay, nice and peaceful, by the fire. I mean, I will agree that baseball sucks for me, because I'm a White Sox fan, and existence is pain, and they make me sad. It's honestly depressing seeing baseball spring training start up, which I used to kind of get excited about every single year, but knowing that my team sucks so much ass your buddy got drafted by the White Sox I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> it's uh it's it's White Sox with an SOX what is White Sox yeah no they're they're very very bad they, they suck man it's like it's also just such a fickle sport. I live in KC. Are the Royals still ass? I'm not in the loop. Yeah, they're pretty ass. Honestly, kind of everyone that's in our division is ass. It's just some are less ass than others at any given moment. It's usually a battle of who can be the least ass. Our legacy remains intact. My family is super into bowling, so that's a great thing to tell women on dates. I mean, if someone told me that their family was really into bowling, do you know how awesome that would be? <laughs> is that supposed to be cringe? That's cool as hell. They're like, ah, I didn't really want to say this, but my family is really into bowling. I'd be like, no fucking way. That is so cool. I suck at bowling, but.
We used to have bowling in, uh... When I was a kid, we did bowling in gym class. Did any of you guys ever do bowling in gym class? You might be wondering, how the hell do you do bowling in grade school gym class? You don't have the equipment for it. Oh, but we did. You guys did? Wait, with like the, the... Was it kind of like a squishy ball? It wasn't an actual bowling ball. We didn't go to a bowling, like arena rink what do you call it a bowling alley we didn't go to the bowling alley it was like a squishy it was a squishy ball a foam ball it was more ball rolling than bowling but then we would have plastic pins with a little mat that you would lay out and you'd have to set the pins up on and it would be like 10 lanes throughout the whole gym and everybody would share them I got kicked out of gym class one time. <laughs> we had a very eccentric gym class teacher when I was a kid. Uh, his name was, uh, well, I'm not gonna tell you his name. It's kind of hard to like actually even talk about him without telling you his name, but he was very, very eccentric. And he kicked me out of gym class one time in bowling. Cause I think I laughed at my friend who like missed a shot really bad. And he was like, hey, hit the showers. And first off, we didn't have showers. He just wanted to sound really cool. Like, he, we, we didn't have working showers in the locker room. So he told me to hit the showers just to, like, sound cool. In bowling. Yeah, I really needed a rinse off after that intense bowling match. Juggling with scarves. We used real balls and pins on the gym floor. What? You used actual full weight bowling balls on the gym floor. You didn't have working showers? No. We didn't have air conditioning either. You know what we did have? All school mass on Wednesdays. Oh, no air conditioning in there either. That shit was... Man. <laughs> that shit was... There are some days I'd be like nine years old and this packed mass be hot in there. Be like 500 people in the pews and I'd look up at that crucifix of Jesus and I'm like, man, I, I, I feel your pain, dude. This... <laughs> this fucking... I'm going through it right now. Do Americans like things like discus and shot put? Uh, those are field events. So like if you do track and field, yeah. Where I grew up, it would get up to 120 degrees and we would still have to do PE outside. Man, I don't, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like there's just a, Something, something in the water of like school faculty where some of the athletic events that they get, you know, the students up to are very like, hey, this is hard. We mostly played dodgeball and hockey. So those were the best ones. Any form of dodgeball is awesome. Any form of hockey, if you're able to do floor hockey, Awesome. Look like someone who can hold Need a room? Liquor. How about it? Are you joking? You just rented a room. Let's save that appetite, huh? Until next. If you're looking for a challenge, you come to the right place. What did we get our allusion to? Oh. <laughs> I need to talk about grade school gym class more often. I just need to talk about stupid ass grade school stories more often because that really passes the time for me. Did you do gymnastics at all in gym? No. You non Brits will never understand the pain of the bleep test. It was straight up. Uh, mm, whoa. Are you talking about the pacer test? Come on. We know that. That's not a UK thing. Um, pretty sure it's an American event as well. There's an entire, there's an entire copy pasta of it. Assuming Americans invented copy pasta. <laughs> Which I don't think so. 
I have no clue. Do Americans have to play rounders? Okay, so rounders is probably what we would call kickball, I think. Right? It's baseball, but you kick a plastic ball. I'm, I think, or no, is rounders a take on baseball? What about square dancing? I think we did dancing once. Oh my gosh, we all literally took the exact same gym class, didn't we? It's more like baseball. Okay, we did softball. It's baseball with a smaller bat you hold in one hand. Okay, that sounds awesome. So, okay, rounders might be a UK thing. The, the pacer test? Absolutely not. But the pacer test is ridiculously hard. All right, hold on. We have to game plan this a little bit. I, my brain is very uh, out of it right now. So let's just take health. That's easy. Let's take Magicka. No. Let's take Stamina. Oof. Only two levels? Okay. Let's go one more Illusion. We get one more restoration perk. Let's just take this one so we have it. We're going to get the Putrefy spell. P -p -p Putrefy. Inflicts disease damage per second for 15 seconds. Not bad. Okay, it's a one-time cast too. Fairly cheap. Runs the However, what we are going to do here is need a room. Let's sate that appetite, huh? Dude, he's got like no food. All right. Then. I like no, I don't need something. Frost took my husband years ago. Just one of the miners. I don't want to. Did anybody ever have to do uh, roller skating slash rollerblading? Because we had to do rollers. Roll. It was roller skating, and then we got to a certain age. It was rollerblading. And rollerblading was way worse. So the way we had to do it, we had to put on the helmet, the elbow guards, the palm guards, which I think they were called owls for some reason, the knee pads, and then the roller skates. And we had this big park just out back behind our school, this huge park, and it had this long cement, but like not smooth cement. It was like cement that was filled with rocks. Kind of imagine the cobblestone pattern in vanilla Minecraft. Imagine that pattern. That was the consistency of road that we had to roller skate on. So it was very bumpy the whole time. Like this is not the speed of bumps. It'd be much faster. So your feet would almost kind of get numb from how much they were vibrating on this road. And we'd go out there, it'd be 90 degrees. Put on the knee pads of the seventh grade class that just finished. Yeah, we didn't wash them, throw them on. <laughs> Strap those up. You get the straps digging, forming some kind of crevice in your knee. Starts itching. You've got Brian from Miss Tilmer's class in seventh grade. His sweat is all building up underneath your knee as well. The palm guards are sweaty. Elbows digging in, you're hunched over, your lower back hurts. Ah, oh, the worst experience. Awful. I know I'm trauma dumping, apologize. I apologize, sorry. Sounds like fun, no, it was terrible. However, when we did it in the gym and it was on the basketball court, and we had all this padding on and it wasn't 95 degrees that was cool that was fun i 
don't know why, but that reminds me of when I was in secondary and slipped on some ice and skinned my leg. Uh-oh. Ow. I remember when school lunches were good. I never really actually had... I never had, like, a school lunch. I was always supposed to bring my own lunch. Every now and then we had hot lunch. Hot lunch was once a month on a Wednesday if your parents filled out the thing to buy the lunch for you on that day and you brought it back to school, then you could get... Sometimes it was pizza. You know what the most popular one at my school was? So there were two. There were, there were two when I was in grade school that were very popular. There was the pizza day. Pizza day, of course. I mean, it's pizza. Pizza day is going to be popular. You know what the second most popular hot lunch was at my school? If you could take a wild guess, think of American stuff. Not rectangle pizza. That was a good guess. And I'm, I'm, I'm serious. We would go crazy over this. It would be like, oh, how many did you order on yours? I ordered three extra. I ordered four extra. This is a once in a month opportunity, maybe twice a school year. You can have this lunch. No one is even close. Think of a chain. Don't think of a specific item. Think of a chain. McDonald's? No. White Castle? No, but you're you're starting to bet in the right ballpark. Onyx wins. It's Arby's. It was Arby's. <laughs> Fucking Arby's sent everyone into a frenzy at my school. It was like, yeah, I'm I'm serious. Arby's Day. There was nothing like Arby's Day. It was, it was insanity. Everybody loved Arby's. I will, I will back up this story at some point, but I'm telling you. Everyone shits on Arby's, but I, I, I'll tell you what. That was like golden currency. But yes, I remember the slips. It was like a permission slip, but, you know, obviously you had to like bring cash, you know, the next day at school to like pay for the lunch that would be the next week. Um, and I remember it was like, there was the base cost, you know, because the school will like cater it and do all this and do a whole thing and do whatever. And then there was like a little underlined space for how many like extra Arby's sandwiches you could get. And every now and then there would be one kid in class with a big flex. who would be like, yeah, my parents got me three extra. So I have four Arby's sandwiches in total. And he'd be like, whoa, whoa are you really going to eat all that? No way. I also remember. I don't remember what grade I was in. I was I was far too old for these antics. But I know for a fact. I turned in the week prior. I turned in that Arby slip. I, I brought the cash and I turned that Arby slip in. And when the teacher starts handing out Arby sandwiches to the whole class, some kids are getting one pussies. Some kids are getting two. Some are getting three. And not a single Arby's sandwich ends up on my desk. And I immediately am like, I, I turned it in. <laughs> But I, I turned it in last week. <laughs> I'm trying to make myself cry again. I actually almost got there, but I was like, no. Kind of threw a fit. I was a little upset. Uh, but then they sent me back to the, they sent me to the front office and I was able to get my sandwich. But I was very, I was very upset. What am I goddamn Arby sandwich? Yeah, but then also there's like the follow up of like, 
I just got done kind of causing a scene in my class, and now I'm walking in with my sandwich. I don't even get to enjoy it at that point. Everyone else has already finished their sandwiches, and here I am showing up late with it. It's like, oh. Whoa, he's here like 10 minutes late. Why is he, whoa. What circumstances could have led to that sandwich? Then it ruined the whole thing. Arby's day was ruined from that point on. Love how Americans call burgers sandwiches? No, the, the Arby's one isn't really a burger. It's more of a sandwich. A burger is like a patty. It's got to be a patty. Is that why you killed Janasa? Yeah, because she took my Arby's sandwich when I was in fourth grade. <laughs> this is why I, I haven't eaten Arby's since then. You're right, everybody. You're right. That's why this stream is sponsored by Arby's. We have the meats. I wish. Dude, an Arby's sponsorship would be incredible. Out of all the fast food places I ate at in the U.S. while I was there, DQ was the best? Dairy Queen? Thank you, kind sir. Evil Arby's be like, we have the veggies. I don't think Arby's has a single vegetable on their menu, do they? But I gotta be honest. Mule. <clears throat> I, I I don't want to say that you're wrong for saying that DQ was the best fast food you were here. You are certainly entitled to your opinion. Uh, but you're wrong. I think uh, I think you're wrong. I've had DQ before. DQ, Sonic, and Whataburger are king and yeah, I do enjoy Whataburger. I haven't had it in quite a long time. If I had to go pound for pound, probably go Wendy's. Culver's, yeah, Culver's is also pretty damn good. Culver's is also like the, <clears throat> it's like a religion in the Midwest. If you insult Culver's to somebody from either Wisconsin, Minnesota, or Illinois, or uh, maybe maybe not so much Iowa. I don't think that there's a ton of Culver's in Iowa. Michigan. I bet there's some Culver's in Michigan. Someone correct me. I'm a big Jack in the Box fan. Is Jack in, Bo Jack in the Box, is that the fast food restaurant that also is another name? I'm the nicest streamer you've ever seen. Fuck you. How fucking dare you? Who do you think you are coming in here claiming I'm nice? I'm not. I'm an asshole, damn it. I'm an asshole who never got his army sandwich. <laughs> Look at what you've done to me, Arby's. Look what Arby's has done to me. Nah, I'm just playing. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm sure there are nicer people than me, though. Sometimes I lose my temper. I got a little bit upset at Skyrim earlier. Checkers and rallies? Their fries are so slept on. They're so good. They, there's something to be said about a French fry that has that orange crispy on the outside, I don't know what it's called. Beer battered? Is that the right denomination of Frenched potato? Any Sonic love? I don't have too much Sonic love. I couldn't really name a single thing on their menu. It always, it always weirded me out as a kid that they called them conies instead of hot dogs. A and W. Nah, you're trying to get me talking about root beer again. 
But a and w my only experience with it, I do remember getting it through drive through once when I was very, very young. You know, 30 or so years ago when I was like 12. I remember it being pretty damn good. But not enough experience with it. Um, I've had a decent amount of White Castle. When I went to... <laughs> in, uh... I think March of 2022, we went to Vegas for one of my best friends for his bachelor party. And on one of the days we were in Vegas. So our hotel that we were in, we stayed at the Flamingo. And I don't think that the Flamingo was actually on, like, the Strip. We actually took a bus to the strip the next day it was like a 10 minute drive really wasn't all that far but we took a bus down to the actual strip in vegas and you know we got down there we gambled a little bit cocktailed a little bit people watched a little bit out on the street because there's just a whole bunch of characters it's vegas you know right across the street from the casino we were at most of the time we were there there was a culver's and i remember um the groom-to-be of the bachelor party, his father and a couple of his father's friends were actually on the trip with everybody. It was a huge group of people that we had, like 20, 25 plus for the whole adventure. And before our bus left downtown, I don't even know what the place would be called, the Strip in Vegas, uh, wherever New Vegas is, I, I assume that's where the Lucky 38 might have been, I have no clue. But when our bus was going to go back to the hotel we started at, the Flamingo, uh, my buddy's dad, he grabs me and he's like, hey, we need to, you know, go over here because we got to grab some food for the ride back. I was like, all right, cool, cool. So we go over to White Castle. <laughs> we end up walking out of White Castle. We're the last people on the bus and we have two suitcases full of White Castle sliders and they're getting passed around and thrown around. Not even like 15 minutes later, both of these suitcases were just gone. They were empty. Stupid question, but is a bachelor party the same thing as a stag? Um, not from my experience, slightly different, but similar enough. We aren't getting our caps this stream. Oh yeah, no, I have no plans on doing that. Uh, I have no plans on doing that. What's it called? That dungeon? No, 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 we're just gonna sit here and grind. I don't even know what our illusion's at. If I had to guess, 72. So close. So close. We're at 70. This is the first stream you've actually caught. Hannah, I apologize. I wish we were doing more exciting things right now. We've been talking about grade school gym class. Uh, bowling with plastic balls. Oh, another White Castle experience. One time I took a huge shit in a White Castle and then I left. Yeah. Core memory. I was like 17. I was I was I was literally going to die. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Mumford and Sons was playing on the speaker above my head. So I'm sitting there like dying. It was one of those where I'm like, I'm about to take off my shirt. It was getting so like painful and ridiculous. And right above my head, it was like, and I will hold on hope. And, I, and I'm like, oh, I'm sitting there holding on for dear life. Anyway, that's my last White Castle story. <laughs> Mark, thank you for the hundred. How are you? Chipotle? I love Chipotle. What's this guy doing over here? Is he heating up his bread? My God, he is. Thoughts on Tim Hortons. I've never been. True story. Humans circa 7000 BC discovering toast. 
Way to ruin the moment. This is the first stream I've had the pleasure to watch, though. Can't wait for the video for this challenge. Moist Muffin, I can't wait till we finish the video for the last challenge. I don't know if we'll stream this again until I finish that project, just because I want to be able to focus on it uh, for the, you know, until it's done and ready. But when we do come back to this challenge, our character will be much more leveled up and ready to take on challenges. Was bread knocking about in 17 or in 7000 BC? When was bread invented? That's probably how it happened, Ben. I bet toast was a complete accident. Like somebody probably sliced up their bread and was like, oh shit, the bread's not done. They were like, well, we can finish it if we put it back in, but it only needs to be cooked on this one Thank side. You, kind sir. And then Your that happened. Your content is awesome. Keep making people smile and not hate every part of every day. So fam, thank you. How, how would I say that? I, Amy, I Amy. Amy though, fam? That's a tough one, but thank you very much for six months. Apparently, bread was discovered by the Egyptians in 6000 BC. Bread was invented 12,000. Okay, boy, hey, we're getting. We've got some conflicting reports in here. That is true. Bread should predate yeast. Or. Er, bread should predate. Alcohol. Is Juve dead? Yeah, Juve dead is he's doing well. He's doing okay. What's up? Uh, so my dad had surgery not too long ago. I've talked about it quite a few times, uh, but I was pretty open about it when it was all, you know, kind of going down. Um, but he had a sarcoma on his left lung. Worst fear was that it was really bad cancer. And it was a sarcoma, which is like a growth. So they took the whole fucker out. That's where we got the name Dr. Jacques for the one Fallout Iron Man we did. So he's lungless? Yeah, I know. He's unilung. What a loser. <laughs> what a door. I have called him unilung. But that's okay. Dr. Jock is real? Oh, yeah. How about this? Is beer or bread older? I don't know. Something tells me. Something tells me that humans decided to invent getting fucked up before they invented easy food. It just makes way too much sense, because if you think about it, like, yeah, humans now are inclined to taking mind altering substances, right? I've been very open about it before. Nicotine is. Uh, Honestly, doesn't really do anything for me right now. It's more like I just kind of rely on it to function properly at this point. I have grinded my nicotine addiction to level 99. I am I'm a pure. I am I am I am, <laughs> I am a, I've built this account through rigorous tolerance. Uh but you know, regardless like there's alcohol, all kinds of recreational drugs and whatnot all across the board. People do that now. If it was like caveman times, like just the basic act of living would suck so bad. There's no hobbies. There's no classic sitcoms from the 90s where you can go, oh man, they don't like them like they used to, right? All you had was like rock and, <laughs> and like hatchet, maybe if you're lucky, if you were high class, maybe a leaf skirt. Something tells me that alcohol may have been invented first because the second it was encountered, somebody was probably like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, Queen Remy, I unlocked the cape. <clears throat> Birds and monkeys eat fermented berries to get drunk. See? Even wildlife is doing it. So yeah, I'm putting my I'm putting my money on humans inventing beer before they invented bread. Am I right? Oh no, there's wine. Humans already had wine. Right, didn't wine come first? Yeah, man, humans invented getting fucked up. <laughs> like, that'd be one of the first things. Like, it's biblical. What's that spell you keep casting? It's, uh, we're casting Muffle. We're just, we're gonna max out Illusion. I need to get a jump ahead in, uh, progress, because this character is cooked. That's what I'm saying! Even the J-Man! He was turning water into wine, like, let's party! Yo! <laughs> He's like, like, yo, what's up? He's like, this party sucks ass, there's no booze? Yo, Damascus! Are you for real? You didn't even bring the shooters? Okay, all right, I'll fix this. That party had to have been crazy. Conceptually, humans discovering wine must have certainly been a strange thing to discover. No, it, it had to have been. I mean, it was probably like fire. Imagine being the first person, dude. Honestly, I feel like alcohol probably has a lot to do with certain like retellings of historical events. Like if I was really, really drunk and it's also 800 BC and I was walking around in the forest blitzed out of my mind and I saw the town lumberjack who had a really bushy beard and maybe a really hairy back and was really tall and strong if I saw them walking around in the forest and I'm all kinds of fucked up I'd be like oh my god Bigfoot boom there you go now you have a tall tail and it lives on for generations What level are you at? Uh, I'm gonna guess 78. 75, it's uh, it's slowing down quite a bit. Like imagine how insane it would be to see a solar eclipse without knowing what it is. Oh, right. I mean, especially at that point, you have nothing else to really attribute it to other than most likely your deity. So, big fucking nerd that I am knowing all about mushrooms and fungi, did you know that death caps have caused more deaths throughout Europe than every other fungi combined? They're so fucking deadly and have a look-alike that is delicious. That's kind of OP. What speed will you use for a majority of the run? I'm not sure what you mean, speed. Oh, spell. <laughs> uh, we'll probably dive into the restoration skill tree. Actually, okay, I'm probably, I'm probably good on grinding illusion. We can definitely find a couple of decent illusion spells. I just had to get a rough, I had to get a decent bump to my stats. My only fear is that the lack of armor and gear that I have uh, might cost me. 
Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was if you're a looking for a room, chap. Sure thing. It's your... I'll show you to your room. And what might you need? God, that really is. I mean, it's like I was just in a time machine. It's so easy to just fast forward 90 minutes of grinding if you guys get me talking about grade school gym class. Grade school anything. You get me talking about Catholic school? I'll talk for a month. All right, we hit level 19. We got three more perks. I mean, not a bad idea to just check in with alteration. We might want to hit that one to 50. Philosopher's Stone could be really good. It's a little bit corny. Once a day generates gold equal to four times your alteration. Yeah. Whenever you cast a spell with one hand, you deal 20% more attack damage for four seconds. That's pretty good. You may choose two resistances to increase by 25%. We're going to take that immediately. We're going to go frost and fire. Yeah, let's just take that. That's an immediate buff to our defense. Almost seems kind of nonsensical to not take it. No, but uh, <laughs> going, growing up going to Catholic school is going to really pay off when it comes to covering Kingdom Come Deliverance. Are you using any mods? Yes, exclamation point mod list will give you the majority of them. But it's not the full list. I want to update it, but... Are we performing? No, I'm going to I'm going to get going. I ended up streaming for like an hour and a half longer than I planned to. Uh, but I do feel pretty good about eventually at some point having this character powerful enough for this run to not be totally miserable. But I am exhausted. I'm tired. We stood up on this stream. We made memories. We talked about sweaty gym equipment we talked about rounders we talked about a lot of random things hold up All right, I'm going to get going. We'll raid out next time. We'll talk soon. There's a couple other people that are live. Kamerkel is live right now. Uh, looks like she's doing some kind of Dark Brotherhood cosplay thing. I'm not really sure what she's got going on today. We'll talk later.